Hello everyone, I think I'm ready to get started. So let's chat a little bit before we get into the game. So, right now my spell list is kind of tentative. I'm hoping I get a couple more crests before we get uh, major party members. But presumably we're basically done with all the intros. I think we didn't see like the technical tail end of um, the character we have called Girl. So when we see the end of her chain, I think maybe I'll just go back to the protagonist for now. I imagine we'll be meeting up pretty soon from like a pacing standpoint. Yeah. So I think from that standpoint, we'll, I guess, continue forward as girl until we get to the end of her chapter. We were like 10 steps from winning. And then... I don't know, as I said before, hopefully we get more... Uh, Press glyphs and things like that. Because if we do that, then I can potentially get something like armor down, which we saw the other day. And uh, maybe escape. I think both of those would be useful if, we're, if we get multiple party members. If it continues, uh, I'll go for a different damaging spell and see how we go from there. So that's my plan. We'll see how much of it changes depending on what we have. Hey, Sony, give me your best shot. <laughs> oh, I looked, the me I looked up Media Vision in between sessions. They apparently did the Digimon Sleuth games, which I have not played, but I have not otherwise heard of any game that they've made or touched before. So this is all new territory for me. So yeah, let's complete her story. We needed to take like a step to do so. And then we're going to, I guess, play as Hal. Welcome, Chaos Mania. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I think all we needed to do is literally go like right here. Yeah. Probably could have recorded that in the previous session, but oh well. The guardians from the legend have spoken only to her without a sound. The wheels of destiny have started to turn. Give the chat a moment. The path she followed in the past was guided by her surroundings. Excuse me. She knew someday she would have to pave her own path to the future. The innocent one, who the guardians speak of, dot dot dot, it may be too heavy of a burden to be the sorceress of the ultimate power at such a young age. Well, let's go back to Surf Village for now. <laughs> Can I blow these up now that I know how the bombs work? Doesn't seem like it. So I missed, I think, one big crate in the mines. I might go back there just to see if anything happens. But I just want to teach them that they made poor life choices by giving me these bombs. See, so yeah, the downside of this character is he has no AoE, so hopefully he's able to meet up with the other characters soonish to fix that. I'm going to check just the very entrance of the cave just to quickly get the box that I didn't know how to bomb earlier. I believe it was within the first couple of rooms. Yeah, there it is. Huh. Small detour. I think that was okay. So, what did this character want to do? Oh, what's this? Welcome, what can I do for you? Oh, there's just a healer out here. I'll get another antidote. I'll get a couple antidotes, actually. I'll get one more medicine, because not being able to heal really sucks. Oh, and actually, I could sell the other items that I don't need, like the long knife. And the two mage staves. Although, I think she can maybe use them for her other abilities. I should probably leave one, just to see what it does, if anything, with the focus. 
So presumably I just gotta go towards the festival. Cowboy is here, both in chat and in game. I'm sorry, cat goblins. You have been defeated. How am I being outsped? Game, please. This character has the highest agility of the team so far, and he's very over level for this area. So sad. Okay. Uh. I guess I'll just go to Aldehyde for now. Upgrade his gun, maybe. Oh, so there was a cave here. Oh, there's her tomb. Okay, so that was the other cave I saw before. I just wanted to double check because they were showing the overworld when the earthquake was happening and I remembered the two caves. I think that was the other one. Holy cow, there's been an accident in Lolita's tomb, aka the place we were told not to go. Let's find Emma. This is out of our hands. No, you're both wrong. The injured are our first concern. Hello, welcome to Adahide. There will be a festival here soon. I won't acknowledge whatever we just saw. So we've now refilled our ammo. Where was the arms dealer? Was this person it? They were up here. Or, or what? No, it was this person. Oh, no, never mind. Wrong person. Uh, probably attack power. So, it seems to at least be doubling the cost. Do I care about accuracy? Oh, it only costs 100 to upgrade. Oh. I mean, just in case that's relevant later. Sure, we'll get more bullets. Yeah, just in case I have to use it for, like, other specials or something, I might as well add it. Even if it's a small waste of money later. I I'd rather just do it now than have regrets. Let's see, I don't think we were in this room before. <laughs> Indeed, we were not. Yeah, yeah, benevolent rule of the king, whatever. Totally peaceful days here. <laughs> My chance just bombed their house, it's fine. I don't think I was in here either. Fuck to this guy. Gotta work hard so you go to the fest- Oh, are you the person that's going to sleep early? Never mind, we were in this house before. Take that back. So yeah, we could get some money pretty much anytime. Yeah, I love them. They're just like, oh, the peaceful days are here as I just do this. Okay, you can't hit yourself with your own bomb. Just wanted to check that. So, I guess I'll advance the plot. I'm just deciding if there's anything else I wanted to look. So, we I don't think I had the option to go buy another magic carrot. If I could, I will. Yeah, I didn't see it there. So, that makes her kind of annoying to use. I wish there was an easy way to get MP, because looking at this, none of this is the thing that I need. So I'm glad I didn't use it from the previous session. You don't have anything new to say. I could eventually get a, s a weapon and sword upgrade. But I have a feeling I'm probably going to come across at least like 300 and 500 in cash, so I'm not that worried. I'm assuming there will be something I can do, and or the fights I do picking up other party members will give us money. And if I don't come across them, that's fine, because I already got everything I need on this character. Oh, another magic carrot. That's actually huge. That enables us to do whatever we want in the boss fights. situation is dangerous. My injury was minimal. I don't need to be hospitalized. So before they were saying the hospital had no people in it, so I believe these people are from the event. The fact this hospital is always empty must be the sign of a great healer, says the guy when there's people in here. Alright, so where is Emma? 
Hmm. I don't remember if we talked to her before or not. <laughs> Just absolute destruction in the house. Oh, you know what? I don't think I've even been in the castle at all. Hold on, let's go to the castle. We went to like the festival portion and the town portion, but we never actually went into the castle. So I'm sure there's stuff I can loot here. You know, casual things a peasant would say walking into a castle. castle. Like, oh yeah, I'll take that. It's not nailed down. Oh, those aren't doors. They're fake doors. You put little indents like I could walk in them, but I can't. Please go on in. The king will see anyone who wishes to see him. Wow. He, the king actually just lets us into the throne room in a JRPG, really? Eldar Castle has withstood many wars. Hold as many secrets as any ruins around here. Oops, I should keep my mouth shut or Minister Johan will be angry with me. Castle's Ancients, more than a thousand years old. I'm starving. Something smells incredible. I can't wait. Well... I hope it smells like a stat boosting apple. So far, no. Go away, I'm flavoring the food. It takes concentration. Yeah, we don't do anything if we interact with the fire. Can't read the bulletins. Can't pull any from the dishes. Princess this while she hardly ate anything. We had to bend over backwards just to feed her. Every day we cook enough to feed an army, literally. Oh, this time it's a real door. Real door with a real chest. Moonstone acquired. What is a moonstone? Nullifies poison. So there's a cure poison and a nullify poison. Is the other thing an accessory? Is that why it's not usable? So we did pick up the water room from earlier. That makes sense. Okay, so I can equip him with the Moonstone, because he's got nothing better to do. He's got a sword in one hand and a rock in the other. Truly the almighty combination of JRPGs. <laughs> like, look out, I'm packing. Alright, so we now have immunity to poison, which is good. And we saw that the water room we picked up in the previous adventure buffs sorcery, so there's pretty much no reason to not just immediately put it on girl. Putting the festival, the princess return, what a good omen. Mm-hmm. Oh, another chest. Press graph attained. Okay, so that's one extra spell. So if we find... If we find, like, one more, I'm going to be very happy, because I'll have exactly how many that I want. I found the king. I, well, I guess it's okay to talk to the king. Most visitors to the castle seem to exploit the place thoroughly. Wish for peace will overcome any sword. The king's words spoke to me. Minister Johan says, King Aldehyde is a humble king who reveres learning. He has a sense of humor, but you must never forget to show proper respect. There we go, proper respect. Soon, Aldehyde will host an archaeological festival. You dream chasers have gathered many of the artifacts being displayed. Please check out the festival when it opens. You might find it enjoyable. Only the royal family and their guests may enter. Please leave. Alright, so. We're up a spell. Sealed by magic. This magic door going to be with magic key. Sure. I'm sure that might be relevant later. So I found the chef's room. So if we could find one more spell upgrade, this means... If I get rid of fire, I could make it, like, ice or something, because I think ice was an option. And generally speaking, I feel like more things resist fire than not, but that could just be D&D &D biases. Uh, what's the point of this area? Hmm. That's awkward. It's just a hallway with nothing at the end of it, not even, like, a decoration. We went through here. Just double checking I didn't miss anything in the bedroom. Nothing in here. Guess I could go up the stairs. 
Because <clears throat> I think armor down versus bosses, for example, when we have a melee party of two, basically, would pay for itself after like two or three attacks. Otherwise, I think we're going to keep our nuke spells. 200 jello acquired. Well, if I need to buy a sword for the other guy now, we're good. Hopefully we get a little more cash. If we don't, it's not the end of the world. Is the girl getting a staff upgrade? I don't think really matters. Uh, this is saying everybody's looking like they're having a great time. Another peaceful day. Clearly something terrible will not happen in the festival. Let's see. Alright, nothing over here. Everybody keeps talking about how peaceful it is. You know how that goes, Chan. <laughs> Might as well start a clock at this point. Like, how many events do we need to see before the town is invaded by demons, the town is, summons a demon via uh, some weird portal, arms backfire, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Imagine probably, like, three events. Maybe we'll leave Lilitha's tomb and then something bad will happen. Hmm. Give me one second, chat. <clears throat> Let us continue. So not finding anything else, but it looks like maybe if I come back as the princess, I'll have more rooms to explore. Maybe it would have been better to play as the princess to get those rooms. So I'll have to remember I have to come back here later. Just double checking if there's anything over here. There's not. <clears throat> so I think we explored as much as I can for the time being. At this point, I'm really just looking for Emma. Okay, that leads back to the chefs. I don't know who Emma was or if we've even spoken to her before. Hmm. Because I think it's very important we try not to miss any spell glyphs because presumably I'm not going to get many chances at getting them throughout the game and being a spell down would be very bad because that then i have to potentially choose between for example escape armor down aoe nuke to make fights faster i don't know if i really care about stat increases at the moment unless it's like a strength up but i don't recall seeing that in the room combos but i'll check one more time when we get there oh interesting so there's some kind of there's some kind of other door. How do we get to this place? Hmm. It's possible that one sealed room will somehow lead there. So yeah, we might have to try again as the princess, but right now at least we got one upgrade for her if we need to do anything with her. Hmm. Nothing has really changed here. Mm hmm, chat. I'm assuming she's in the main town somewhere. We went into most of these rooms. Let's see, where have I not gone in the place? I've been in the equipment shop, I've been in most of the houses. I haven't been to the inn or the pub. You can look at both. Uh, that guy's a oh a traveling poet apparently, and he's very upset that people are focused on the poet than his poetry, or on the festival versus the poetry. See, they said go over to Emma's. Oh, unless the professor's name was Emma, and I just didn't remember her first name. It's possible maybe they mean the professor. I wish they said the word professor and not that because that's all they keep calling her. It's possible they meant her. Let me go back, actually. Uh, there we go. 
there's something going on outside? How exciting. Listen to the commotion. I wonder what's happening. Welcome, Chris. Alarm! There's been an accident at Lolita's tomb. Oh no. Tell me what's going on. Broke through a wall damaged by the earthquake and unleashed monsters. Some of the workers were injured by one of the monsters. Gather everyone with military experience. No way! No one's ever fought monsters before. There's so many of them. You couldn't pay us enough to go in there. All right then. Get to work on the repairs. You hear? I'll do something about the monsters. Okay. We have a minor problem to the rooms in the north. You can fight, can't you? I need to have some monsters slain. Pay 500. Tom is also a very interesting place. Will you do it? Sure. Glad to hear that. Pay you after the excavation. Trust me. Hmm. I'll be waiting for you. You must get prepared. Let's see. Don't underestimate Luthus Tome. Bring friends. Okay, so now the game is outright telling me go collect the party. It would be pretty funny if you could just beat the game without ever interacting with the other party members. I, I don't think I want to try that. I feel like it would go horribly, horribly wrong with the difficulty scaling and or require a gross amount of grinding to survive. Let me make a quick save here. I mean, is it worth revisiting some of the other locations in more detail? I mean, it's possible with the bombs? Or maybe the crystal I missed something in, like, the memory temple, for example? I don't think I needed bombs in Curran's place. Hmm. So let's go get her first. Bonk. Oh, she's just outside. An earthquake caused terrible chaos at the tomb. Is this Lolita's tomb we're talking about? It is. I too must go to Lolita's tomb. I'd feel safer if I could join you. I thought you caused the earthquake, did you? Magician wants to know if she could join you. Why is she just referred to as the magician here? Sure. I am girl. Don't worry, I can hold my own with magic. Man, it seemed like it, but I don't think our goals are so different. Hi. Uh, let's go assign the escape spell for now. And maybe swap the damage element since fire was, like, okay. <sighs> Do I get rid of Kirk because we have Valkyrie? Think about it. <clears throat> yeah, this increased defense, don't care about it. Absorb magic could be useful. Cast evil on weapon? Okay. Only might be useful. I don't want to encounter right up. There's the there's the warp. So chat will have to name this spell at some point. It's called escape. Hmm. I'm not feeling inspired at the moment, so whenever Chad comes up with a new name for it, we'll uh, do that. Let's get rid of Dave. Let, let, let's upgrade Dave. I want it to be basically the same thing. I just want to change Dave's element. I think there was an ice one, right? There's a wind attack. Was I hallucinating? Oh, there's water. I'm sorry. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna name this one Dave. <laughs> Dave just Dave just went underwent a free, uh, change. Eek. I could call escape Eek. We gotta Eek out of here, Chad. Oh, is there no exclamation mark? Oh, I thought there was. Huh. I'll give it a little star. Hi. 
die. So now if I go into Memory Temple and it turns out to be a waste of time, I could just leave quickly at least. Uh, what I should probably do actually. Now that we got bonus money, I should buy the other guy's weapon. As I mentioned before, I don't know if armor is worth buying in this game at all. But I think getting a weapon upgrade would be huge here. How much if she gets this? Three damage? I don't think that matters. I'll be real with you, I don't think that matters at all. <laughs> her her auto attacks are always gonna be bad. I'm just I don't know if I don't know if that makes a big difference. The the male characters can basically one-shot everything. So I just want to make sure that they are ready for the bosses. Although arguably the character I'm playing as, their weapon isn't as important because they have gun for bosses, but whatever. I mean, I might as well just attack. Is she strong enough to one-shot? No. I guess if she had the weapon upgrade, she would barely be able to kill the starting enemies. Take that as you will, I guess. So hopefully after a level or so, and maybe one weapon upgrade, she'll be able to kill the overworld enemies. Right now she's just a hit a damage sponge. So she's protecting the character that's more valuable, which is the Bale with massive damage. Although as soon as I use her spells, she's gonna outshine the the cow, as it were. Let me know if you hear of a good adventure. What? You caused the earthquake? What do you know? So you're looking for help to take care of this problem? Hmm. Hey, perhaps I could help you out. It could be useful. Now let's let the treasure hunter join. Hmm. So it looks like depending on who I am also changes dialogue with things. That's interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Hmm. Setting. I forgot all about this game. Alright, so it allows me to enter a name. Hmm. Does it matter who I use here? I don't know. I'll just do I'll just type in Jack or whatever. I think that was the name of the treasure hunter. Just to see where this puts me. Worst thing that happens is I go back to the inn. So presumably we have to find the name of an L character. I do want to briefly get into combat though, before we teleport out of here. Is there anything else I could open there? Maybe not. Yeah, he should be so strong. Yeah, there we go. He should be so strong, he should be one-shotting. It's about what I thought. Oh, her crits actually matter. Sort of. Nope, she still didn't kill. Oh, well. Ooh, that XP total was terrible. So I guess with more people, I level slower. So she's the only one that's level 3, which is not great. Because she is definitely the weakest by far do anything with these. Let's give her the water rune. Yeah, I had a feeling chipples that would be the case. It kind of makes me want to dump the characters because she's like at a point where she's not crazy useful due to that. Let's see, is there anything else that I need? I don't think so. 
Yeah, I mean, like, I could have bought a weapon upgrade to do four damage with her, or he gets 12 extra damage a swing. Some weapons are not created equal, John. I think I want to get... Where was the skeleton? I think I want to briefly fight the skeleton if we can find that again. Oops. Oh, this skeleton was kind of deep. You know what? I'll just wait for the tomb to level, maybe. Tell these characters just to auto battle for now. As long as they reserve, I'm okay with it. I don't even care who they target. I mean, we should be strong enough that we base. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, basically one shot everything. Okay. So let's use our magic then to leave. Ooh, it costs eight. That sucks. Alright, so I don't know any names to enter the temple. So, presumably, as soon as we get an L person's name... I don't think we got one when we are in the other cutscene. We could proceed. We'll have to remember to come back here at some point, maybe. Yeah, as long as both of the guys go, there should be free money and XP. Her going is actually kind of sad. She slows down the combat because she doesn't get any kills. Nice critical, though. So I think the goal is... Oh, but resting costs like 300 or something insane. Yeah, I might have to just make do for now. It's fine. I wanted to restore her MP, but I remembered it was something very unreasonable compared to just healing. In the original town we were in, it was fine, but the castle town, it was not worth. Need the help Emma talked about? We'll say yes. So you're the one. Emma's waiting for you. Okay. More heal berries. Potion berry probably just heals more, right? A thousand HP? Yeah, I'm nowhere near that. Some treasure chests will explode if you're not careful. Thanks. Mystic apple acquired. Alright, so speed ups. I guess I could give it to Hunter. Actually, Hunter's speed's already pretty good. Oh, Cowboys is actually just really terrible. Okay, let's pump that up then. Power Apple. Um, probably Hunter. Mystic Apple, probably Girl. Let's see. Tap it because they desecrated the tomb. Only a fool would dare to uncover the tomb. There are things we humans aren't meant to touch. Sure thing, random guy that I'm probably not going to talk to again. Ah! I spooked him. That was nice. The three of you together could probably break the seal. That's the room with the spooky demon statue, Liza. The three of you work together, you should be okay. You'll be fine. With confidence, you can even learn to fly. Buckler acquired. Okay. For him? I make her immune to poison, I guess. You're here to slay the monsters, good luck. So if I had like a grappling hook, I could make that jump. That's all I learned just now, visually speaking. I don't have a grappling hook though. Because it's not in a way that I can use the mouse. Can I make it if I sprint? Uh, it looks like there's a post specifically to grappling hook, but I can humor the chat, I suppose. <sighs> this guy. 
that guy right in the corner there. What a jerk. Yeah, because it seemed to stop me very quickly when I walk normally. Yeah. Rid of those. Probably not any treasure there. Welcome to Bumble Blitz. Hope you're doing well. How's it going? It's going okay. We just got our party together. Rat monkeys. Hmm. Let's see how much damage they do and whether it's worth nuking them. So far they're one-shottable, but most things I think should be at this point. Oh, even she one-shot them? Oh yeah, they're weak. Good thing I didn't use spells there. How much XP was this worth, though? Actually, not a bad amount. So yeah, we have some... <laughs> Great security system. So, we have a pathway upwards now. Oh, that was rude. They did warn me about exploding chests, but that was still rude. How much damage did I take from that, by the way? Very little. I was expecting to lose like 30% health, but yeah, I think it was literally 10, as the chat mentioned. If that's all that is, I'm not dodging traps. That just told me not to bother wasting my time. I mean, I can use the wind mouse to pick up an item more easily. Oh, she can't even get through their defense. That's sad. These guys are very likely to run, which is fine. Just free XP. 48 money, not bad though. I will need that eventually for an upgrade. Hmm. So this is the way I had to go. I couldn't have gone the other way. I could drop down or I could continue forward. Let's continue forward for now. <clears throat> but I might drop down at a moment once we see what's in the next room. She should be extremely close to leveling. I think this one kill should level her. She needed like 13 or so, I think. I like the dramatic zoom in of her doing zero damage. Thanks, game. <laughs> there we go. So I don't really expect her damage to go up by very much. It's more important that she has HP. So I, I entered with technically 40 out of 48. I've gone up to 46 out of 54. That's probably fine. Yeah, we got a damage spell. I have cheap AoE, depending on what we fight, or more expensive AoE, which is just much better. It's more cost efficient at damage. So this feels like a whole new area. Let me go downwards. Oh. Ipolos. Briefly take manual control here. I don't care what the girl targets. Whatever she fights is not relevant. I'll be real with you. I'm make sure this thing dies first. Mind damage? That did basically zero. Well, she's helpful. We're fighting one less enemy. Nice counterattack. Saves me some time later. Man, I did. I thought Cowboy was much faster than he was, but no, apparently he really is their slowest party member. Rip. Goodbye, enemies. 38 experience. Okay, that's huge. Got a travel vest. So that was worth fighting. So I guess I can avoid encounters that don't have that enemy, since they don't seem to be as good. Oh, travel vest is what I'm using already. 
That is kind of weird the game is giving me drops that I started the game with. It's not like I found it arbitrarily in like a treasure chest somewhere. We go back out here. I feel like this one's probably trapped. Yeah. It's another Crest Glyph, so I could get another spell. So, I guess with that, I can probably get armor down if I felt like leaving. Right now, I don't, but next time I have an opportunity, I think we'll go ahead and do that. Uh... You know what? I'm going to do something briefly with her. Actually, nah, I'm going to be greedy. I'm going to conserve my MP. I wish I could have bought more magic carrots, because if I did, I would just be nuking everything every battle. And then hope that it would pay for itself. Yeah, I got an extra bullet and damage on Cowboy's gun. So I feel like we're probably going to be fine for a boss. Yeah, the downside with the menuing there is that it takes more than one input to just put them in auto battle, and I have to do that per character. So while it is somewhat useful in having control, it's not the fastest to switch between them. Okay, I have enough to go to the inn now if I really wanted to. His HP looking pretty good. 72. It's not bad. It's like two more of those battles levels her up. That's maybe worth it. In theory, it could give me an extra spell cast on the boss. If it doesn't have the giant bird thing, I'm not going to bother, though. I mean, the XP difference is ridiculous. It's like almost seven times or eight times less XP. Uh, can't get that yet. <laughs> Rudely interrupted. I wonder if that'll cancel the bomb. Ooh, this is almost enough to level her by itself. That's interesting. Doesn't matter who she fights, she can't do anything. I can technically tell her to defend every turn if I really wanted to. But I have a pretty good amount of HP heals, so I'm not that worried. <laughs> oh, girl took it in the face. Wow, she took 58. That's crazy. As long as we go before the bird, this should just be GG. Oh, 8 experience shy, whatever. Oh, I did remember the bombs were supposed to be there. Nice. Hmm. I mean, do I really care about taking damage from this? I don't think I do. No. Eight damage, whatever. <laughs> right, chat? I, I don't think it's worth my time to swap to s replace it. It Oh. Impusa? You're new. Let's focus on one target at a time. Oh, you're one-shottable. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Ooh, she's doing a grand zero, chat. Ooh. Uh, so only Hunter right now can one-shot. That's kind of annoying. Hunter MVP right now, the battles. Girl leveled again. So we have more MP to work with. So we're now at 49 out of 57. Her damage is always going to be terrible. 
But yeah, we are leveling very rapidly, so I think it is kind of worth doing those fights rather than just be underleveled. I don't want to do extra fights, but I mean, like, if I'm leveling every two battles, I should probably just take the battle. I want to get an idea of what's here. I'm feeling there's at least... There has to be a switch under one of these rocks that is potentially worth uh, dealing with now. Since there was a chest at the beginning of the room. She's still doing zero. Nice. So I did try to bring Cowboy's speed up a little bit so this happens less. Because if we could get our other melee characters on par... Because there's no, like, once I outspeed, I outspeed. But if I have two characters that outspeed, that might save me taking damage here. So keep in mind, we basically haven't bought any armor ups, because I generally don't believe in armor in most games. Like, maybe the very first time you put on an armor is worth it. But the way I view it is if item healing is fairly quick and there's not a long animation, it's like, do I really want to spend 500 money to go between, like, 4 or 6 extra defense? Or just buy, like, 15 more healing items? And, like, if I have, like, a surplus of money, sure, I'll buy it. But if it's if, the, if those are my common choices, I'm spending it on weapons and other things first. Okay, so that just let, for sh that just let us go back here, which is not helpful. Can we even go down here? No, we can't. Is this a switch? <laughs> we'll find out next time. I don't even want the free XP. It's not worth our time. Oh. Uh, you can do something like this then. So now I should hopefully be able to go back down and get that chest I saw earlier. I didn't forget a purple switch, right? Yeah. I did not. So I guess if the chest is gray, it's always trapped. Goodbye, XP not worth collecting. Huh. It wasn't really worth it, to be honest. Only 130? We get about that much in two fights. I mean, it maybe affords me a weapon upgrade with something else, but... So we are at the... We are at the save circle. Oh, I just... Oh, okay, Can, let's get into one more fight. I think I could get 38 experience. Yeah, I mean, if we're that close, I just want to take a good fight. I think this will put most of the people there. This should be fun. Yeah, getting like 4 or 6 XP in encounter, not worth it. If we got one more of these, it would be worth it. I wish we got the double Vulture, though. That one is absolutely worth it, and I should take it every time. 60 XP at this point is like every... If I got like 3 of those in a row, I'd basically level every time. Nice crit. Goodbye. So sadly, I think I might be 8 experience shy. I think it was giving me 30 earlier. So I will just go for a better fight after this. But yeah, I mean, we might as well just heal up, get the extra stats. Potentially end up with slightly higher speed and more damage. But more importantly, I get to heal less in a boss fight, having more overall HP. Oh, that was 38 exactly then. Then we're good. Wow, that that was a convenient amount of experience, chat. All of the important characters have leveled. Thank you, game. <laughs> so yeah, the sad part is... Uh, I guess with her, I could probably get rid of one of these abilities, since we seem pretty strong. So I think Kirk... We might end up getting rid of the original Kirk, but we might upgrade Valkyrie to be Kirk. That way I can get, like, armor down on the boss. Actually, no, no, no. I think I got another crest... 
Did I get another crest craft? I think I did. So I think when we go to leave, I might be able to get what I need. But for now, we'll do this boss without a damage down. Actually, before I save. Don't mind me. Since I think that would potentially save time in the future. But as long as we don't teleport instantly out of the dungeon, I will take the teleport out of the dungeon over a buff. Because I really do not want to walk out of this dungeon again. Seems like it would take forever. Oh, we're not even at the main dungeon still. Hmm. I hope those purple switches aren't related to the one that I hit earlier, or I'm going to be very sad. We'll find out eventually. And also, I definitely got trained that if I see a save point, it means boss, but we didn't end up in a boss fight. What is this? Sealed by magic, two puzzles. There's the switch I'm looking for, I think. Fine, I'll do this because I don't feel like taking damage. Um, Racer of Vitality. I guess I'll get the treasure chest. I don't think I want to take this fight anymore. I think I'm good with levels. We're good for now. Get more XP elsewhere. So there. Oh wait. Hold on. There's a path over here. Please don't be the boss. <laughs> I'm just looking for side stuff. I saw two chests. I'm assuming the door is where the boss is. Alright, this fight is absolutely worth taking. Yeah, so I'm hoping Vitality will make sure that she takes less damage overall. So I don't really need my tanky character to be tankier. Like, I'm, I'm okay with that. Alright, we're doing just enough damage to kill them in two hits, which is good. 112, so I could buy like five healing items off of that if I really wanted to. Oh, that feels very suspiciously like a boss. I'm gonna go around. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. I didn't finish exploring. When the room opens up like that chat, it was like the boss senses were tingling. I was like, uh-uh. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna continue until we get these. Yeah, I don't care about this. Oh, come on. Seriously? They're just gonna run away. Oh wait, they actually attack? Or do they only attack when you run? Oh, that's actually really annoying. We haven't failed a run in quite a while. Alright, uh, maybe I can't run from these in general. Or I'm really unlucky. One of the above. Chat gets to decide. I think this is genuinely the first time since we started the game that this enemy has ever attacked. They've always run away. I'm gonna bonk him for wasting my time. So unfortunately I now have to heal up after this. Their 20 poor money does not make me feel better. Uh, so, we have a puzzle of sorts. Luck influence is escaping. I mean, that's not uncommon, Calvisham, to be honest. So what are my solutions? I could go... Let me think. If I go left, I could go right, then I can go up. Visualize the solution. Okay. Then if I go right, I can go up and then up. Another MP healer. Oh, mid run. Oh, ambushed. That's unfortunate. Hopefully, we at least get a counter attack.
I mean, now I feel obligated to kill them. It's possible that door I can't open up at all until later. Oh, I killed her. It's unfortunate. Well, chat, time to find out if she automatically comes back from zero up in HP or not. Because we've had our first character death. Got a little unlucky with the targeting there, to be honest. Although them getting more XP is fine. Does she come back with one? Oh, she does? Perfect. Her level does not matter to me for the most part, sadly. Because we got 300 extra cash. Hmm. She's probably just going to be heal spamming the entire boss battle, so I'm not super worried about her damage at the moment. Curiosity. So that does open this up. So I have to ask myself, is this the boss or is the other path the boss? Hmm. Check this place first, I guess. On the devil's back, dark wings and a secret. On the other side of the door sleeps a great power, the tomb of perpetual sleep. Oh, is this just like a puzzle hint? Oh. Disappointing. So I'm assuming the room that I was going to, we need to do something with the devil statue. According to what it was saying there. Final auto attack, are you happy game? So presumably we look at the back of the statue that will inevitably be in the puzzle room and then we'll be able to do something. So our money total, not bad right now. I could get another damage up on the main gun. So far I have not bothered buying a single piece of armor and so far it feels like it's paying off. Because her dying just gives the other characters more XP, which I'm kind of okay with. There's a small button, push it, sure. Hmm. Where does it want these? Mm hmm. I'm assuming based off of the the floor design, maybe it just wants them here. Although I should have done that one a little later, to be honest. Do something like this. Until. Oops. Good enough. Hmm. How's our health looking? We'll, we'll top our health up real quick. Feels like there's a very strong chance we're about to get into a boss battle. So she could level if we were in another fight, but I don't think that super matters. Seal by magic. Use the tier, open the door, inevitably fight giant boss that steps out. Chad, it was inevitable. Alright, well, we're fighting... Mag Tortoise? I guess I could see the shell. Uh, let's take control. Let's build some power first. Let's see how much damage Dave does. Hundred and two, okay.
so she'll have to heal herself after this. 92, that's not bad. 66. So you can use his arm lock to make sure we don't miss. Oh, when we upgraded the bullets, it didn't automatically fill a bullet. That's stupid, but that's fine, I guess. Oh, increases response speed. I forgot that's what that did. Okay, let's go here. So let's have him attack. Then she can heal herself, maybe. So maybe her having slightly more health would matter. Maybe. So she's out of kill range. So we're just gonna have her heal Cowboy, I think. That is a lot of damage. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna risk just using a bullet as is. And have her use her faster response time to maybe outheal the boss. Ooh, counterattack. That's not good. Okay, everybody's got at least 150. This should be fun. I did improve this thing's accuracy, so I'm not as likely to miss. Uh... Could go... You know what? Let's, let's take a safety heal on Hunter. And then I'll attack next turn if it only single targets with the girl. Because healing this character means that I potentially don't even need to heal him at all in two turns. Oh, that was a correct choice. <laughs> Another arm lock on. Uh, I don't care about my response speed. Let's go ahead and do some damage here. I could see how much Valkyrie does. It's not like I care about my MP on her at the moment anyway. So might as well learn if he's got a better weakness or not. Ooh, 216, nice. The other spell is more efficient for single target, but that's still pretty good damage. So, let's just keep shooting with him and have these characters just heal themselves. I'm gonna have Hunter heal her because he's more likely to go first and then she's gonna heal Hunter and that should work. I feel like that's the correct decision. Just in case the boss outspeeds. So our health's looking pretty good. As we get EM lasered again. This is the attack I don't want to see, because I don't have an AoE heal, which would have been nice. But so far, I have not missed a single shot. So I, I think the percentage to hit paid off for the most part. I'm actually going to shoot again. I'm going to attack with you, and I'm going to use you to heal Cowboy. I imagine the enemy is getting pretty close to death. Oh. Well, that was a correct assumption. <laughs> so that's why I wanted to be more aggressive. It felt like we'd be going on a decent amount of time. I was expecting maybe one or two more turns, but I guess with Valkyrie and everything else, that was enough damage. Hunter has gone up a level. Girl has gone up a level. All right, that was pretty convincing. Yeah, I mean, like, would I even have cared about defense up in that battle? I don't think I would have. So keep in mind, we, we're still using our base equipment minus, like, whatever headpiece we found. Uh, I will use a healing berry, though, on him just in case. Another magic carrot. Another healing berry. Let's go revive the golem. What? That's the golem. The same golem written about in the legend. Probably. In the ancient days when Felgaia was surrounded by forests, it was said there were eight weapons of the ancient giants. 
They were sealed away in some secret place after they nearly destroyed the world. Some of these weapons were found in ruins in this area. I had no idea that a golem was hidden near Aldehyde. I wonder if the power in this tomb is different from the power that I've been seeking all this time. The power we felt here is probably the golem. Jeez, how am I supposed to use this? It's huge. I can barely lift it. He's mad. Let's get this over with. There's nothing here for me. We must notify the professor about the golem. Oh, did you see that, chat? We were not automatically exited from the dungeon. We're gonna eke out of here. Time save. Worth it. <laughs> right, chat? Worth it. I'm not walking through that dungeon again. Bye. <laughs> I feel like I was justified in my spell choice. That right there was like 10 minutes we saved. So even if I could have beaten that boss like a turn or two earlier with armor down, worth it to me. It is a shame I can't get more uh, MP ups, but on the plus side, we did learn that Valkyrie seems pretty good against bosses as a backup. So maybe... Like, for single target... So the way it kind of works is it does as much as Dave does. Dave is our cost-efficient boss killer. Valkyrie is our... We need to kill hard enemies, and Kirk is our cheaper clear. So maybe we'll rename some of our spells. So the question is, will armor down offset not doing 100 damage against an enemy? Possibly only on bosses. So let's, I think it was White Crest, right? Overcome with anger. Oh, maybe I could berserk an ally? Hmm. Alright, so we gotta reduce our- we're gonna reduce defense, then maybe we get berserk later. I'm all for oops all all fans chat. Listen, I don't mind doing some buffs, but they're gonna be uh, other kinds of things. Let me know, Chad, what you want to name these spells. We still got to rename Valkyrie. Actually, you know what? I know what to name this one. I can rename as they want. I'm going to rename it Wide Open. Exactly. Uh, let's rename Valkyrie for now. I'm going to call it Kirk plus plus. <laughs> We're all, our, our damaging spells are Kirk, Kirk plus plus, and Dave. Very logical names, obviously, Chan. Just follow along, it's easy. Uh, I guess I could rest. That might be worth doing. Oh, it's 30, not 300. My bad. Misremembered. Well, that's not that bad, then. Now that we have three party members, it's still worth it. I only chose the most logical and fitting names. I was gonna say, if Chaos Mania wants the name of spell, just call one of them Chaos or something. Or CV. More than welcome to request the name change. But I think for now, now that we have the princess, can I access new things in here? Only the royal family and their guests by enter, please leave. But wait, aren't I the royal family? Oops. I'm not good enough, apparently.
Hmm. So we have a decent amount of cash. I'll hold on to it for now. I might not even bother buying armor upgrades. We might go quite... Oh, where is she? <sighs> Thousand's kind of a big commit for me. We might need money for the festival. That's why I'm like, if we get past the festival, I'll go do it. Hmm. Hmm, 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 chat. Where to go? Let's save first, actually. We haven't saved in a while. Please leave. What spell are you naming? Please leave. <laughs> One of our damage spells. Hmm. I don't see her here. Was she at the other place and I just didn't realize it? Question mark? She's clearly not here. Maybe she was at the entrance and I just forgot. I only saw random guys there, but it's possible she was there. Let me go back. Which is fine. I mean, you know, I got stat up. So the worst thing that happens if I get into combat, I have full MP. So I can just nuke them if I need it. In like one of the oh right no 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 actually i remember she was here she was in the uh, upper left oops that's okay we just got healing early that's how i view it this is the reaper's power really the golem truly exists i was right in picking the site i'm a genius oh you guys are great too you can't just sit around here we must excavate it now just come my crew with you to the site where you found the golem i'm counting on you She's kind of bossy. Okay, let's pull it up. You won't break it. Got it. Look at him go, chat. Away she goes. Ah, uh, yes. I, too, display giant death machines in the middle of my festival. That's where I think they belong. You know that's where this is going, Chad. <laughs> I feel like this is just full of bad ideas. It's a pleasant surprise that my Emma motor was effective here. Thanks to you and my Emma motor, we were able to pull her out. Yes, this is Lolita, one of the eight golems. Isn't it cute? This thing is unbreakable. Still in mint condition and completely dormant. Yeah, for how long, though? Word of 500 will be ready for you, but you must come by tomorrow. Be too busy prepping for the festival today. Oh, you're going to make me use the inn again? That sucks. Unfortunate. Well, I guess we go back. We'll get our money tomorrow. After that, I'll go into the next room with Hanpan. We're parting so soon? It's the life of a dream chaser, you know. Let's get back to the inn. The festival starts tomorrow. Oops. Spent 30 more than I wanted to. Tomorrow, we'll go to the festival together. I have to get going now. I have no idea why I was summoned to the North Ruin. But I'm glad to know I was of some help. After I go, I might not be able to travel with you. I'll we'll never forget our adventure. I hope you guys will treat me the same way I've treated you. Rip 30 gold.
The morning of the festival has arrived. Hmm. So festival's here. Well, chat, I'm gonna save because I have a feeling something really terrible is about to happen to this place. Let's all be honest. Like, there, there is a, let's say more than 70% chance this town will be burned down. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't have high hopes for it. All right, so let's go to the festival for now. It's also possible there's a lot of mini games here. I like how he says you better check out the festival. There may not be another one. Oh, we know. <laughs> right, Chad? Oh, we know. Hmm, so they did bring the golem here. So that was a good assumption. Alright, so we need money to enjoy the festival, quote unquote. Nita, this golem is known as the Ice Queen. In ancient legends, it froze enemy demons to death. Excavation near Aldehyde, height 53 feet, weighed 120 tons. It's a huge thing, I can't believe it was found near here. Golem in the fairy tales, it was real? Are the demons real also? Absolutely. They're definitely gonna attack this place. Hmm. Diablo, a very powerful golem, flamethrower for close combat, tough but agile armor, good hand-to-hand -hand abilities, nicknamed the Crimson Wind. Excavation Artica, 59 feet tall, 160 tons. Barbados, the weapon on shoulder is a fire device. Hard armor reminds one of some indestructible fortress. Excavation... Excavation Ocean of Sand, 62 feet without weapon, weight 210 tons. Hmm. Asteroid from the Ocean of the Stars, metals found in many of the artifacts would be traced back to this asteroid. I was been able to duplicate it. Hmm. There's somebody that's missing in the crowd. See him, please bring him back to me as a red balloon. The kids. Play strike ball. Sure. A little ball at the target. There's some nice prizes. Throwing ball will bounce and we'll see where it lands. Ooh. I'll try. Oh, that bounce is really hard. Oh, that's actually almost worth it. I wish I wish I realized how cheap the games were gonna be. Why did it boink like that? That was rude. Hmm. Is it just random how it bounces? Does it matter? Alright, we're gonna do this for a little bit. The heal berry acquired. I'm gonna try this mini game a lot, and if I don't get anything good, I'm resetting chat. Revive fruit acquired. Okay. I'll save our progress in a moment because I think that is worth keeping. So, I, yeah, I wish I realized that the, they were going to give prizes even if we quote-unquote fail pretty hard. So let's save our progress there. I have a feeling I don't want to talk to the person with the red balloon yet. Wherever they are. But yeah, getting a revive item this early is pretty huge. Thank you, Cryo, for subscribing. Hopefully you're doing well.
This did cost a lot of money, but... Having a revive, two revives now on a boss fight, I think is completely fine. Let's see what other games there are. Maybe we'll circle back to that one later. Uh, I feel like there's a racing game somewhere. Oh, what's this? Oh, why are they vibrating? Hmm. Come on, come on. Lucky mole catching. Mole will bring luck to your otherwise normal life. Do you want to know the rules? Thank you for the good luck. Pull as many of the moles out of the ground as you can as they peep out. 30 seconds. Oh, it's 100 to try? Wow, this place is really expensive. That kind of sucks. Why am I doing the dash and not lifting them? That kind of sucks. <sighs> I kind of want to redo this game. It's the first like seven seconds I didn't pull anything. Well, Magic Carrot's worth it though. That I can't be mad at. I do actually want magic carrots. There we go. Now it's behaving a little better. I just gotta beat nine. I think we're basically there already now. Fourteen, Mystic Apple acquired. Okay, so I could play these to get stat ups. I think I'm good. I think we saw. I think I got a pretty good prize there. Need to set up a time spinner multi. Eventually, I'll join you in one of those. And the festival help us understand our history. Skeletons. They look human. Their use is unknown. They've been found in several places. So we did burn quite a bit of cash. Let's go save our results in case I'm really not happy with something later. So we found two games. One of them seems very RNG related. So if it's a good prize, I don't think I'm going to grind it out. I think I'm happy that we got the mini prize. I think I could live with that. We did manage to get something that would make the game slightly easier. I says I play multi all the time, play 1 until 5 a.m. in fact. Yeah, Time Spinner is probably one of the only multis I would consider, I think, at the moment. I did have a lot of fun with the game. But just, I think, schedules didn't quite line up. Him walking in front of me twice there, that hurt my soul. Okay, so we went there. Was, oh, geez, was there anything in the corner here? This is the time trial run. Sure. Sure. I mean, I did practice this earlier. Although that was a bad turn. That was a bad turn. Gotta get it within 10 seconds. I think I could trim off a second and a half easy. I missed like one turn that I was going for. Yeah, the problem is that turn right there. That turn loses me a lot of time. So I did trim about one and a half. Oh. What? Why is it? What? Oh, I guess I could have put a random name in there if I wanted to. I'll try one more time. There doesn't seem to be any prizes for this, so this is just more how fast can you do it. Also, I'm noticing I'm hitting the uh, dash button and it doesn't register right away. So I'm losing like a little bit of time due to that, which kind of sucks. 
Yeah, like I lost a second because it. I hit the confirm button, but it didn't do anything. I'm gonna get like an honest attempt at this. There we go. That time I didn't need my run. Close. That's close. Oh well. I've humored myself. I did better than my other time. So I think some of it is more I'm taking two turns too wide. I'm not gonna worry about it. I don't think we get anything else from that. So are there any other events I should be doing? Small flower acquired. It raises our luck. Sure. I don't know what this really does, but I'll buy a bunch of these in case she dies or something in the near future. That way I could say, hey, remember when I spent money getting luck up, so it potentially influences our crit and run chances? Hey, don't mind me, chat. Hmm. We're doing cash wise. We'll do four more. I have a feeling at the end of the game, I'm just going to consume these before every boss battle. Guess it wouldn't hurt to get more. Just in case she doesn't appear again. One more. 20, so I would be able to do about 10 bosses because I'm only applying it to the two male characters. It's probably fine. I could sell my travel vests for more cash. I probably should. I think you were a merchant, right? Mm -hmm. Alright. So we basically went money neutral, but I managed to get a stat up and a revive. So, so far this feels worth it to me. The festival was okay. I don't like that they charged me so much money, but I think the results are mostly fun. As you guys, we made it on time. Here's the payment. Nice. Take it easy. There's a lot to see here. I'm sure you see something that interests you. Okay, now our cash total is looking good again. So I managed to get 20 small flowers of Mystic Apple. Revives. I still have some staffs if I feel like burning them. Five magic carrots. Magic Carrot was actually pretty good because we couldn't purchase it earlier. Uh, what are you? Mr. your courage in the ultimate chicken game, man enough to hear the rules. Race starts from the line ends of the wall, stop as close to the wall as you can. If you hit the wall, you're disqualified. Uh. I actually stopped almost perfectly there. That was kind of funny. Oh, it was too close. Trying to visually see where the distance is. I think I think about here is where the distance is. Yeah, I think it is. Hmm. So if I stop a little before the flowers, I always make it more or less. Although I bonk. Okay, I'll try it. Oh, oops. That sucked. I misunderstood. It automatically ran. Potion Berry acquired. I'll try one more. Hmm. I mean, I think a hundred for that is probably worth it. Oh, too far. We'll do one more. We'll, we'll burn our 500 gold on this or whatever the gel is. Oh, he's just like slight. I'm doing it like slightly too late. All right, if I fail one more, I might reset. We'll see. All 
Uh, I, I must be missing it by just like a fraction. Oh well. On the plus side though, we now have four super heals for later in the game. So no need to buy those. Would I prefer to get more magic carrots? I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do the mole mini game again. I think getting a magic carrot here would save us a lot of time potentially in the future. Or another stat up. Because this is probably the least expensive of the games, but it does take longer. So I'll do one more of these. I'll do like two more things to humor the bouncy ball. And then that'll be it. We'll keep our 1k for later. Oh, that was an un unfortunate placement of them. One less than before and I got an Agile Apple. That's actually pretty good. That's one of the ones I probably want, so I could just always go first. Yeah, his response time is terrible. Try to improve it a little bit. Okay, uh, we'll do one more bouncy ball and hold on to the rest of our cash for later. Unfortunate. Oh, that's right. This is only 30. For some reason, I thought it was uh, 60. Oh, there we go. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Chad, I think I got robbed there. I think I actually legitimately got robbed. Oh, that time I went left. All right, one last one. Yeah, this is the game where I just straight up get robbed. Yeah, this 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 mini game sucks. Yeah, like look at that. Whatever. <laughs> we'll take our heal berries though. Thirty nine is quite a lot. I hate it. I hate it. All right, so now let's actually look for the child. So we burn our money. We're at exactly a thousand. Thank you for stopping by, Cryo. Hopefully you have a good time. Hmm. Pie is too powerful. Hmm. I don't remember seeing anybody with a balloon. Oh, he went to town. Okay, that would explain it. I'm like, I don't remember seeing them in the festival at all. Let's save our progress before the town inevitably gets destroyed. I could make another save state here, or not save state, another save file, I mean, to uh, come back here if I want to. Man, these people are really good at RNGing in front of me. It's actually crazy. Let me stop that. There we go, something like that. Well, time to look for the kid, I guess. Hmm. Oh, there he is. That was easy. Oh, Mom, where did you go? Oh, my balloon. <laughs> and that's when the demon struck. Oh, speaking of which. Suddenly, dark clouds hover over Aldehyde. The laughter and the murmur cease. It's all because of the kid with the balloon chat. If only we didn't talk to him. As the unsuspecting people look up at the skies, they watch the silent nightmare spread over their heads.
The sky is cracking. The beginning of the end is here. Sword of Light strikes the land and a wall of fire rushes across the horizon. There we go, Chad. We gotta get the Sword of Mana. Oh, there's the skeletons they were asking about before. We were one step too late. Well, can I save while it's like this? The wound is too great, there's nothing more we could do. It's already cold. Oh, where's the save parrot? Aw. Hmm. I'm assuming I just go to the castle. Alright, so skeleton and two lizard men. Skeleton was easy to kill, at least. I don't know about the lizard men, I think they're new. What a sound effect. Not enough to one-shot them, that's a bit concerning. At least we're strong enough to one-shot the skeletons. Nice crit, that might one-shot. It did not. Ooh, they're pretty tanky then. Okay. Bonk. We're XP. Cowboy's gone up a level. Nice. Probably gonna need that extra HP. The gates to the castle will remain open for another five minutes. Uh-oh. Must get everyone into the castle at once. Oh, time limits. Oh, I hate time limits. Save one person. Two people. These are people in the graveyard down below. Person. When it sounded like a minute, I'm just gonna leave them. Nobody at the magic shop. Nobody presumably in here because we were here earlier. Uh, so we are making at least decent progress. Let's check the upstairs of the inn. I think somebody's here. Anybody in the pub? Somebody's in the pub. I'm worried the timer will tick in combat. We haven't been able to go through there, but it's possible we have to go through a secret passage in the castle in order to uh, come out through there, so maybe we are gonna like sacrifice ourselves or something later. Scary. They got way too close. So there's a townsperson up there. Is there anybody else that I could be missing? Is the question. I think I went through basically this whole area. I'd really prefer if he would stop camping the door so I could check it. Thank you. Yeah, I don't see anybody in here.
go this way to get the other person. I don't know how to tell if I have everybody, if the game will mention it to me. Oh, speaking of which. I mean, I, I don't feel like there was anybody else. Bell Salkis says, not even close. You weak humans, this is no contest. There is nothing for me to do here. Well, I guess my superior power is too good to use on humans. Give this message to the one of the humans running into the castle. They don't give up the teardrop. We'll tear the castle to pieces. Are there golems here? Are they working? All junk? Good. We don't want to fight those things. We have the golems now. This is a very interesting situation. I did well, I don't know. Proceed further. Oh, well, let's proceed to the throne room. They're still in shock that this is happening. Oh, <laughs> we're the king now. Are we finally gonna be allowed back here? Oh, okay, we are. Let's go to the king's chamber. Apparently he was wounded. Hmm. Mostly just looking for items. Did I really find the king by accident? I just, I'm just looking for items. Is there anything up here? Even the ancient tales must be behind the attack. How else you would explain the hole in the sky? Nothing up here, sadly. So maybe one of the lower floors guarded by a guard is not actually the one that we care about. So what is this guy guarding? Book entitled Teardrop, read it. Small crystal sphere that fits in the palm of a child's hand, invaluable. Rate it's a subtle heartbeat of pure magical light. You can tell the light and ice, you want to read it. Although it is the light, Artica is the ice. Both are from the ancient blood of benevolence. Although I'd look for the warmth in the heart, Artica look for the answers from the past to sing the songs of man across Vilgalia. Both kingdoms pledge to the world peace. Welcome to Dog. hopefully you're doing well. I think we did okay. I mean, I don't... I don't know if we have a penalty for potentially not saving everybody. I'm assuming we got basically everybody. Book entitled Benevolence, sure. One, know thy subjects. Two, always lead by example. Truth will always prevail. Hmm. I like that I could kind of tap the, uh... Use bomb button to slow down. I kind of like that. It feels like I'm actually driving like a car with his run animation. Just tap it and reorient without ever letting go of run. I feel like that's more effective than letting go of run and typing it again. Hmm, nothing new here. Ah, uh, the war room. What a classic. Can't view the world map. Hmm, nothing at the top of the castle. Maybe we got every item? Bonk. King is being traded inside. It doesn't look good. Minister Johan says, This has never happened before. Monsters taking over an entire town. What do they want? I've been wounded badly. I was careless, says the king. Hope my men got away in time. Ah! Let me speak to girl. I need to tell her something before I... Girl, I'm glad you're all right. Listen, girl. The monsters are after you. You must defeat them. Your Majesty, the monsters demand that you surrender the teardrop, or they will storm the castle. The teardrop belonged to my mother. It's very dear to me, but I'll give it up for the sake of my kingdom. The monsters can have my teardrop. I won't permit it, no. 
You won't do it. Girl, the teardrop is not just an heirloom. It holds the key to unleashing the power of the ancients. Only a princess of the Aldehyde family may possess it. One who hears the will of the Guardians can use the teardrop to change the world. Hmm. But if I do nothing, many will die because of me. Please understand, girl. Life can be cruel sometimes. Girl, stay in your room, no matter what happens. Hmm. I don't agree with what my father said. They said people should not suffer. In the dungeon, there's a secret passage. It should still be there. As a little girl, I remember trying to get to the town from there. Hmm. You can sneak out from there and give the demons the teardrop. I guess I'll save for now. I guess I'm a little sad I didn't have the opportunity to use another spell. Graph, I think they call them. I would have liked armor down at this point, but that's fine. With uh, one other spell. Actually, maybe that maybe we only had five. Never mind. I don't think we had six. Take that back. Honor for the king. Sorry, you must return to your room. We must hurry. More people will suffer. Oh no, it's a stealth section. Oh. <laughs> right, chat. Oh. Uh... Don't like stealth sections of video games, chat. I really don't. I don't even know where our goal is from this area. Like, we need to go down a floor, but like, if those places are blocked. Is it possible? What? He's heat seeking on me, Chad. Get away from me. I think this eventually let me get down another way. <sighs> Come on. There we go. I'm scared to run in case one of them is running towards me already. I think this might let me back in the castle in a way that I could do something. Do I run a rest? Sure. Hmm. This is it before? I want to be able to react if something's in front of me. Okay, that went okay. I'm in the kitchen. So where do I where do I go from here? Hmm. Uh, did we visit the prison? I I can't even visually picture where it is in the castle. I mean, presumably it's on the first floor somewhere. I don't remember where the door was. This is kind of unfortunate that it's making me guess where it is. Because there's the chest. We got that earlier. Wow, the auto grab. Really? I couldn't do anything about that. That's just not fair. I didn't memorize the castle. Why would I have to memorize it? This is... Wild arms. This is not how you win me over. This kind of stuff annoys me. So I got all the way to the kitchen, but I just literally didn't know where to go. I, and and plus I wouldn't know that guy would get me anyway because we didn't see him earlier. So thanks, Gabe. Is there a better way to leave this area? Do I have to go through that whole loop-de-loop -loop every single time? I really hope we don't. Can we... Can we really not? Oh, wow. So, yeah, I didn't really learn where to go. This guy's ridiculous. Why does he move so fast? Also, his position doesn't reset in between. Cool. So it's now not winnable. Wow. Oh, we're gonna be here a while, chat. <laughs> Stuff I don't want to see in Video Games 101. So, I don't know where our destination is, other than somewhere on the first floor. 
I don't know what the pattern of the guards happens to be. Them randomly moving slow is horrible. I've been feeling if I went up, it would be faster, but like he moves so fast and erratically, I don't know if I could very safely get by him. Is there a downside to going up from here? This put me somewhere else. Wow, the dash animation was so long it caught me. Come on. Wild arms, please. We're gonna try one time to get around this guy to the left here. Yeah, I don't think it's possible. So brutal. Chad, I don't like to do this when I play, but I'm gonna be honest with you, to save you as the viewer a lot of time, I'm really highly contemplating save states. So I don't have to do this really boring walk. Like, how is that fair, chat? I slid by him, and I was still moving. So unfair. Yeah, I think I'm gonna save state in the kitchen. I really don't feel like doing this run every single time. This is like two plus minutes I can't get back from my life. How is he always at the right place now? What is going on? That right there, okay, now now I am definitely safe stating next time we reach this kitchen. I am not getting past this guard again. This is very annoying. Try from here, maybe? What, what am I doing wrong? I'm going as fast as I physically can. I don't understand. Do I actually have to walk slow or something to get by him? What is going on? Or does it want me to go this way? No. It... How... How... Wait, how am I supposed to get by him? He just seems like he's always there now. Oh, this is horrendous. Wild arms, please. Oh, now? Now you take longer to get there? Whatever. Chat, whatever. Actually, whatever. Go, please go away. Get stuck on a wall or something, please. And yeah, we're gonna do... Seriously? 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 Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm 100% safe stating when we reach this kitchen. Actually, I'm gonna save state here, because I don't even know if we want to go to the kitchen yet. I am not dealing with this self-section chat. I really don't appreciate this in video games. So, do I ha I presumably don't go to the right here. What if I go down? Where does this take me? Instant capture. So anyway, chat, let's just go ahead and reload, because I don't feel like walking through there again. <laughs> right, chat? Like, how is that fair? How is that fair, chat? Like, that? no, I'm not playing Pick a Path. I hate it. I'm not, Chad. I'm really not. I am 100% done with it. Is there something else I could have done from here? Like this door? <laughs> right, Chad? Like, I'm going to do it. I don't feel bad at all. Listen, this is just a waste of everybody's time. I do I have to get by this guard? Presumably don't need to. Hmm. So let's think about it. The left door doesn't take me where I need to go. Uh. Hmm. Maybe I have to do this to get by him. He's gonna be right there, isn't he? <sighs> this guard is the actual worst. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna check one thing before I reset. Is is there some other passageway I'm just not aware of that would help me get through this horrible, horrible area faster?
Like, would this have saved time? No, because I can't do anything from here. Why is the game like this, John? So I think I do have to do that. I don't see another path I could possibly take. Alright, so let, let's, let's go back here then. Where have I not gone in this castle? Do, do, do I actually just have to go to the kitchen or something stupid? Like, do I need to talk to them for them to tell me what to do? Hmm. I don't have enough food for all the refugees. What should we do? Griffey in place. You still want to go. I understand. Open the door to the cellar. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Chat, whatever. <laughs> Screw this. Let's go. I'm rolling my eyes. That was not worth the programming. We're going to complain about this in the review for sure. What a waste of time, chat. I don't feel bad, chat. That one guard at the beginning, holy, he caught me like every time. That was insane. Realize I don't have the right character out. Uh, so presumably there's going to be some fights down here. Hmm. Like the little eyes flashing red. Assuming I can't do anything with the broken gap. Um... Yeah, let's manually hit Jelly Blob. Let's Kirk them. Kirk plus plus to the rescue. I mean, that was perfect. Only 12 XP? Okay, we are not fighting those encounters going forward. No thank you, chat. Not worth the time. So there's a chest over there. Got another magic carrot. Hmm. Yeah, no. Man, we seem to get prevented from running quite often in this game. It was like pretty infrequent, but now it's like every three is not great. Given that this XP is terrible. All right, so I guess I can't run from the slimes. I'll just fight them going forward. I would have thought we would have outsped slimes, but here we are. <laughs> right, chat? Unlucky. Well, at least I got my weapon upgrade on two of the characters. She's oh, 46 actually wasn't terrible there. That was fine. Not worth. Not even slightly worth. Got a power apple. Um, let's see. I think that should probably go towards Hunter for now. Mystic apple. Let's put it towards girl. Hmm. Seeing what to do. Let's go this way. Ah, oh, there's other other crates. Hmm. So 
So I imagine we'll come out in the building that was in the southeast corner of the main town. Because we couldn't figure out how to reach those two chests earlier. Agile Apple, I want to give that immediately to... Cowboy, oh his response time is too slow. We've definitely improved it a lot. I think we've given him four so far, so he goes about on par with the caster. I don't care if the caster is slow. Party Apple acquired. Uh, let's make her tankier. I don't think their tankiness matters. They have enough roll HP, she doesn't. So if I'm not upgrading very often, I think it just makes sense to kind of do whatever. Please one shot. Thank you. And giving her strength ups I don't think makes any sense because she's never gonna be useful for melee unless I really hardcore grind, which I don't intend to. Whereas, her surviving a hit from a boss is actually crucial. The more a toad has run away. So yeah, this area is pretty bad compared to the other place we were at. In terms of rewards. A little extra cash at least. But we're not any closer to exiting. Random dead end. That was rude. Rude. I want to use her magic, but I feel like we're just immediately going to get into a boss battle once we're done with this. Question. I have the worst luck, apparently. That feels appropriate. I need 120 XP to level. I don't think that's going to happen here, sadly. Another magic carrot acquired. Ooh, that's a good sign. Presumably, we should now be in the southeast portion of the town. It really wants to make sure I have healing. Check our spells. So we can we can tell them they're wide open. Then we can either perk them or dave them in the face until they die. Feels appropriate. Question is where do we go? Oh, never mind. We found him. Let's see. MP's looking pretty much at full. I have a lot of spell casts potentially. I take a safety heal on Cowboy. Yeah, let's do that. And over the teardrop. Are you guaranteeing the lives of the people? Don't worry, I'm a busy guy. Just give me the teardrop and you won't see me again. The cell receives teardrop. Grab the prize and go through the gate as soon as it opens. Wait, I'm not done with you yet. You demon, I don't know how you got here, but... So, what are you going to do? Revenge, this is what I live for. Like I said, I'm a busy guy. Let's make it quick, shall we? No, you can't do that. You're crazy to go after him by yourself. Well, that's why you two are here.
Humans break so easily. You guys don't make very good toys. We have to be so delicate with you humans. Here, how about a little dance? Okay. 89% chance of hitting. Let's risk it. Uh, you psycho crack. And then use your armor down to tell them they're wide open. And four. That's not a lot. Two hundred and eight. Okay, that's a bit. He says, "Come and get me." Is he taunting us? I'm mature. Shoot him again. Psycho crack. And let's uh, let's let's stave him in the face. So let's see. How much more damage is this doing? 100. Ooh. Does that not improve the damage of Psycho Crack or something? Hmm. That's kind of unfortunate then. So Dave doesn't do a lot of damage. The gun is doing a lot of damage. So it looks like the gun's damage actually went up. Maybe we'll do Arm Lock and we'll just do a normal attack with him. Maybe the other one counts as spell damage or something weird. Let's heal. No. I did less. Well, on the plus side chat, at least at least Cowboy has an extra bullet with more damage, so I think that'll save us a lot of time. Yeah, it didn't really seem to help very much, which is disappointing. Uh, let's Kirk plus plus him. We got MP. Even if this fight is not winnable, because it doesn't seem like he's taking it very seriously. We probably have to do a minimum amount of HP to proceed. 88, that was pretty bad damage. I'm not going to lie, that was pretty bad. I think the water damage was much better. So I think next opportunity, we're going to... Upgrade Cowboy's gun for more damage. I think our bullet count is okay. Like, we haven't run out of bullets in a boss battle, and it didn't cost very much to get an extra. So if I whiff one, it's not the end of the world. Let's just go back to daving him. Yeah, like, that did more than our 10 MP spell by a lot. I don't really care about Accelerator, I don't think. We'll continue to use Dave. Dave is our cheap boss spell. So that way she can actually do some reasonable damage. Oh, fight's over? Huh? What was that? I feel like I'm being assaulted by a gnat. Running out of patience. 200 experience received. Girl's gone up a level. Here we go. So in case we have another fight after this, at least she has more MP. Come back when you're more of a challenge, kid. So it's a slave driver. Why do we have to take this junk back? We've got to do what we're told. We've got to get this done. Here we go. We're taking off with the golems, chat. I'm sorry, father. I disobeyed your wishes. The teardrop is in their hands. Hmm.
King Aldehyde says it is done. But the teardrop must not be used for evil. We must. Please don't talk, Father. Save your strength. It's my responsibility to reclaim the teardrop. Princess. I've made my decision. Our resources must be conserved for the reconstruction of Aldehyde. I've trusty friends. With their help, I will reclaim the teardrop. Cowboy, Hunter, please help me. I need to reclaim the teardrop for the future of Filgaia. I understand. I'm sure Cowboy is with me as well. I'm going to volunteer anyway, but you shouldn't come. He'll just slow us down. Sometimes. What? I don't mean to. If I'd known you who you were, I would have thought twice about working with you. I don't trust royalty. I never have, and I never will. You kind of had an idea, but you still haven't told us the truth from your own mouth. Hide your identity and roam the land, eh? How romantic. You could count me out. That's enough, Dream Chaser. I apologize for my behavior. If people find out who I am, they become distant. I, I was so lonely. But my passion to save Filgaia is no lie. How can I convince you? Girl, please. Oh. Your sword. May I please, please use your sword? <laughs> what do you want with it? It's far too heavy for you. Please, the sword! <laughs> and then she stabs father. Could you imagine? It's heavy. With the weight of its destiny. Oh, I'm rolling my eyes at that one. Okay, Hunter. It's not for you. Give it back. Princess, you can't support it on your own. Hair fatality. Goodbye, hair. Your sword has severed my past. I plead again. Please join me in reclaiming peace. Once you do this, there's no turning back. That apparently convinced him. Be strong, girl. Protect what is yours. Oh, shaking his head. The king is past, chat. We can't just sit around feeling sad. We must honor the dead. Our beloved king and the men who fought so bravely. They gather here today. Three separate agendas, but one common goal. The stage is set for the fall of Filgaia. The story starts here. Arguably, the story started a couple hours ago, but that's fine. <laughs> right, chat? At, at least. The king chap. Oh, we're getting the credits formally. Interesting. Very dramatic chat.
wild arms. One week from the date of the, oh my gosh, of the attack, those letters were so slow. This is our destiny. The three of us are going after monsters. Really don't want to do this, but we must fetch the princess. We're running out of time. Hmm. Why are, <clears throat> why are we seeing that, by the way? Every time I hold still, I just see her there, I guess. <laughs> She's in our thoughts always, Chad. Oh, the the back-to-back -back walking in front of me. So I never really got a chance to talk to any of those people because of that idiot guard being there. I don't even know why they put a guard there. It's just very stupid. Because we didn't get any of that dialogue thanks to that guy. Hmm. Please protect the princess, blah blah blah. Let's proceed further. I'm assuming she's in her father's room, but we'll find out in a moment, I guess. Let's save. Oh, never mind. She's at this bed. Do you like my hair? It's a lot easier to manage. This is easier to move. Can't sit still and cry forever. Hmm. I'm waiting for the rainbow after the rain stops. I'll be strong again. Please take me with you. What a statement. Hmm. So now I'm having a contemplation. Do I want to swap any of her spells out? Hmm. I guess I can leave it there for now. It's also possible that the, the debuff just didn't work. Because I, I guess I didn't see like the text say that it was like defense down. But it's possible the boss was just resistant to it. I'll try it again, but if I don't see it work on another boss, I'm gonna get rid of it. Hmm. Actually, I want to see if there's uh, more dialogue if I come up here. Yeah, what happens if we go to Light King's bedroom? Is Johan in here? No. Hmm. I was wondering if he had anything to give to us. So all the monsters apparently left back into the crack in the sky. Hmm. Oh, maybe he, he could be in the conference room, maybe. Because I didn't see him in the throne room. Hmm. Oh, that's a lot of items. Finally, the three of you. Hate the fact that you're carrying the burden by yourselves. But our future depends on your journey. Don't worry. Father, for the glory of Aldehyde and Filgaia. I shall reclaim the teardrop. 
the Water Guardian. Stoldark has spoken to me about the danger. You say I'm the Shaman Princess of the Guardians, and I'm proud to be the innocent one. Princess had a vision, there's no doubt now. You must follow your destiny, Princess. Go west through the mountain pass, and you'll find the town of Malama. There you'll find a large shrine. If you're the innocent one, then you must go there. I don't know anything about being a shaman. If I could be of any help, deal with whatever is expected of me. Magic carrot. Thousand money. Miss Sanga acquired. Mystic apple acquired. More money. Lucky card. Bullet clip. More money. Lucky card. Gain double Jella and experience. Okay. Sanga increases luck by one level. I'm assuming it's an equipable. Indeed. Instead of her being immune to poison, I could just luck up her. So I have a lot of cash, so I might as well just upgrade her arm. It did look pretty useful, I'm not gonna lie. So we know we gotta go to the west somewhere. Ooh, I like the town is still scorched. Hmm. Can't talk to him for anything new. Alright, so we upgraded hand cannon. It's 3,000 for the next upgrade. 500 for more percentage. 500 for one more bullet. Uh, I think nine's good enough for now. Come up with something exciting, please let me know. I'll keep you company. So I think we just gotta refill our bullets and we're good to go. I don't think I need pretty much anything else. Because having 9 bullets is potentially, like, at the moment, at least 1,800 damage on a boss. And it feels like most bosses have only had about 2,000 HP, maybe a little less. So until we start seeing a big scaling, and keep in mind, we all we also just upgraded our gun on top of that. I think we're in a decent place, I guess. Uh... B -b 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 uh... Hmm... Use Mystic Apple on her, so her spells are stronger. We now have 8 MP restores, so I can afford to be kind of risky later in the game if I want to. That's a lot of MP restores. Like again, I would expect at most to need a carrot, potentially. I want to double check something, make sure I didn't skip over a chest. I was counting how many chests in my head I picked up. I just want to make sure I did that correctly. I didn't miss a chest. I don't see anything else in here. Interestingly, he went somewhere else. Oh, right, just making sure. Let's see, do we need anything else here? Not really. Bullet clips will help with the boss, so the fact I already get one extra bullet means... I get potentially 400 more damage with normal normal amount in a clip reload. Don't forget to pick the world. Must, you must sacrifice yourself. Excuse me? Oh no, you can't just be like the, oh, go over the mountains, everything will be fine. By the way, to save the world, you have to sacrifice yourself. Like, wait, what? <laughs> I think there, I think that was a little bit of a jump there. I kind of needed a little more easing into that. Yeah, well, yeah. How about you sacrifice yourself, Johan? You ever think about that? <laughs> Screw you. Hmm. Now there's too many injuries here. Everybody's more worried about the hospital. 
than they are of their own mortal wounds. Hi. So I did not have another one. Hmm. Curiosity. Four defense? This is what I was talking about before, chat. Ten healing items or four defense? I think you know what I would rather take between those two options. If it doesn't give like percent resists or stat ups, I'm not gonna bother. Might even just find random gear on the way there. I think we could safely put everybody back on reserve because I don't want them using basically anything. Which is kind of funny that it has like all these other AI strategies that have like, just don't use my resources, please. So I'm gonna hope our level ups and everything else should be good enough now. Her critting might actually kill there. Nice. She did it. We did it for 3 XP, alright! Oh, we only need like 30 XP or less to level again. That's not bad. I miss. Oh. There isn't a path over here. Hmm. Uh, interesting. Maybe it's around the other side and then down? I mean, I'm not too terribly far off from leveling and I'd rather not fail and escape at that point. So yeah, we improved the arm by quite a bit. There we go, that looks more promising. I think we were here before and they wouldn't let us go until the festival was over. I mean, at this point we should just always outspeed. And given we only needed 8 XP or less, I might as well just round it a little bit closer. Okay, so let's go back into the mountain pass. Bonk. Ingrid and Passage, but be careful. Dangerous winds blow through the mountain pass. Okay. Wow. So if you if you hit that stone, it skips you. Wow. Cute. That's cute. Oh no. Uh How do I how do I light this? Um Hmm. Uh go backwards slightly. Did I miss something? Hmm. Maybe not. Well, when in doubt, I guess we'll go left. I'm assuming we'll get something to light this up at some point. Preemptive strike. Oh, I'm just gonna auto attack them. Dryhead might give us okay XP. We know the frog doesn't give anything of interest. Nice, they focus the same target. And it should be GG here. This should result in a level up, I'm pretty sure. 66? Wait, the Dryads are worth that much? Oh. Yeah, th never mind, chat. That that fight is absolutely worth taking. Do you see what I mean? Like, they, they take as long to kill as, like, the random slimes or whatever. And they're so much easier. Or they're so much more rewarding. Cool lighter acquired. Lighter. Hunter can use it to start fires. The fire can shed lighter burn obstacles. Okay, so I had a feeling somewhere at some point. Also, we could just poof people out of existence. Hmm. 
That did an insane amount of damage. Hello, Gallo Bear. How much XP are you worth? Goodbye. 60 by yourself. Ooh, that's a lot of XP. So, so far, most of these fights are worth taking. Oh, so there's no other passageway here. Thanks, game. Cool. Oh, there's a chest over there. Good to know. Lamp was sort of useful, I guess. Yeah, I guess I just auto battle. I mean, I have so many healing items, I don't think it matters if I'm efficient with combat at all. Like, I could use spells and technically use up some of the carrots if I really wanted to. We killed the things that actually grant XP. I don't care if this guy leaves. He water gunned us for probably not a lot. Well, 62 is a decent amount, actually. So this made our healing way more effective. So, like, I could reduce damage by 4, or I could just murder them instantly and get, like, 70 more HP. So girl's probably within two combats of leveling, if I had to guess. So there's a whole path down there. I'm assuming at some point the light will turn off and it's not permanent. I didn't see there was a second rock. I got outplayed. These guys might not be worth fighting. We'll find out in a moment. Ooh, her damage is so bad versus them. So presumably there's going to be a plot event at some point that allows us to take advantage of new arm powers. I'm not entirely sure what condition green does earlier. We saw that when we maxed out the arm gauge for the first time. So it's possible that it could be like a a heal, or it could clear debuffs or something. So I'll have to keep in mind, there's some mechanics that, as of right now, I don't know what they do. Oh, we even got a heal berry from that? That fight was 1,000% worth it, chat. Literally paid for itself. Like, okay. Amazing. Yeah, we're fighting more Lizardmen. Also got darker. Got a carrot acquired. Oh, that really sucks. But at least... We managed to somehow make it to the next lamp. So yeah, the fight XP actually super good here. Compared to the BS of outside. Sadly though, there's gonna be a lot of auto battles since we are pretty geared towards physical. It's kind of the downside of all these kinds of games. When you have a very melee party, unless you're fighting a boss, it's just like... There will eventually be a point in the game, and we seem to have hit it, where I don't need to really take manual control. It's faster for them to just keep auto-attacking. Nice, girl is leveled. We even got another heal berry back. So yeah, all of these fights literally are pay for themselves. At most, I use a healing item, and we're good. Alright, so we should take only at most three more fights. And then we'll skip the rest of the fights, just to make sure the guys level again. New chests, antidote acquired. Preemptive strike. I'll just normal attack then. So, I mean, obviously, you know, we could fight literally every fight possible, but ideally, we'll take what we need to get to a reasonable amount. So what do I feel is a reasonable amount? If combat takes more than five battles to level, I feel like you're probably overleveled in, in any JRPG. Like, if at that point, if, if it requires like 10, 12, 14 to level, should not be fighting anymore, just move on. So five is my magic number. We need about five where we're at, so we're probably the exact level the game wants us to be. Girl is maybe one level under. So yeah, if we do five of those, if we need about 450 to level, probably about on par. Okay, I had a feeling exiting and re-entering would clear the lamp. And I wanted to do that so we had the most time to explore. 
So yeah, we're getting a little bit of extra gold, and the fact that this also gives you healing items means that I'm not even really losing many, if any, resources. Just free, free money at this point. Gamora Toad is restless. Okay. Well, Gamora Toad's absolutely dead. Glad he chose not to do anything. Another antidote acquired. So hey, at least we're getting some status cures. I'm scared to run here, I'm not gonna lie. I almost ran into that pebble. That was closed. I'm glad I stopped myself early. Uh, you're kind of worth it. Bear hug chat. Cowboy took 90. If he drops a healing item, this will be worth it. Otherwise, eh. Cowboy leveled. 20 money. Which means it pays for its own healing item. That's what we want to see. Wow, already at 500 HP with Cowboy. Wait, why is he so much higher XP than everybody else? It's kind of funny. I guess we did a lot more combat with him or something, and obviously she died during one of the bo or one of the other fights, so she's gonna be hilariously behind for a while. Yeah, uh, one more fight will level the other character, and that'll be about the rest of the fights we want to do. So that'll give us approximately about another 70 or 80 HP for a potential boss fight, which I think feels pretty good to have that leniency. Although we're quickly hitting the point where the healing items aren't healing enough, so it's possible that we might have to take the heal spell later if it can heal somewhere between 200 and, and 1000. But we also now still have those generic healing items to save our MP regardless. So right now I'm not having regrets. Maybe in like a couple sessions, I'll, I'll think I have too many healing items. But right now, we're fun. Hunter's leveled, got a little extra money. So we're sitting at 2,000 in cash, not bad. A lot of jellos. Hmm. So there's a passageway in front of me, and I can exit this way as well. Hmm. Yeah, I think as long as we keep upgrading our weapons, we should be mostly fine. Oh, and a crit killed there. Nice. Hmm. So what's back here? A save. Hmm. Maybe we're at the halfway point of the dungeon then. I mean, so far, I think this is going well. I mean, we, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> excluding stealth section, I think things are going fine. I don't feel like I'm being overwhelmed. I don't feel like I'm being cheesed by anything in particular. Hmm. Is it worth using magic? Nah, it's fine. That crit might actually kill him. Nice. This fight is worth it because it is worth the most here. They're worth 90 compared to the 60s. So at this point, I'm going to try to avoid pretty much all the 60 encounters since we just leveled. But the 90 XP, kind of worth it. It's literally 50% more, and it's not even twice as long combat-wise, so that's fine. <laughs> the damage is just too low. So sad. Oh well, hopefully we get a berry back out of this. And we did. 108 in cash is also pretty solid, I'm not gonna lie. That is a pretty good amount of cash. It's also possible the girl can use her force to improve healing items, because we never really got a chance to do anything with that. Oh, I can't shoot the mouse down there. 
was hoping to save time. Instead, I lost time. So sad. So what's on the outside of this dungeon? More Dryads. I think these would also be 90 experience if we kill them. Compare how much money we get. Poison's kind of annoying. Fortunately, we have a lot of antidotes. I do like that the girl could be kind of customized to be either offense, defense, utility. I mean, we mostly have her as offense. And honestly, I could probably, in these encounters, take manual control of her. Only 30 cash. Uh, the Lizardmen were worth 70 more cash, and they didn't poison me. So I think if it's between those choices, Lizardmen only. And another heal berry. Kind of not worth going towards. Oh no, Chad. A gust of wind. Ew. Those are some nasty winds. Well, what's, what's going on? These gusts of wind. If I could harness the power. I agree. Why don't you give it a try? Astral hint acquired? Um. Hint from Mountain Wind? What? Well, I guess we got a new ability. No, the, the, the wind blew. I now know how to strike faster, I guess. Okay. That's one way to learn, I guess. I mean, we'll try it out. Please don't be all dryads. Oh, I... I didn't mean to do that. I, You saw the, it very briefly input to the left, and I let go, like, a fraction of a frame too, too early. So sad. Well, hopefully I can interrupt it here. Okay, so I can interrupt it by hitting a button. Go manual with him briefly. Sonic Buster has been mastered. Okay. Girl is leveled. Oh, so he now has an... So this character is already very tanky, high damage, okay MP, and he already has an AoE attack. So unfair. Antidote acquired. Hmm. I'm looking for treasure. I'm worried I'm skipping some by going this way. I'm gonna go back towards the center. Harpies are new. Hmm. His MP doesn't matter as much either. So technically I could let the AI use some abilities if I wanted to. Mine's all out and balanced. Fight with maximum power, balance offense and defense. How does that... That doesn't make sense to me. Don't use fast draw or force. Yeah, I guess leave them in reserve. So I guess our technique collectively is known as fast draw. One of our fast draw techniques... Is, oh, they have disease. I don't want to fight these. Oh, yeah, we're skipping harpy fights, by the way, chat. Disease is a horrible, horrible ailment. Pre being prevented from healing is pretty bad. Absolutely not worth it at all, skipping that encounter. We only have three medicines. So if we get diseased again, we're in big trouble, actually. That uh, was not worth it. Yeah, we're out of here, chat. Lizardman is the exception to the rule. It's a question. Oh, oops, I forgot I put it back on auto. I was curious if I could just slice them all and do 115 to everything. I probably would have saved some time. Oh well, not worth doing now because we already killed one and injured another one partially. Oh, nice counterattack. That will definitely mean that I could just auto battle again. Neat. Bonk. <laughs> she does a tenth of their damage, almost literally. 
so sad. Three heal berries. Wow. Chat, that fight is so worth it. Can we all agree? What an excellent fight. Worth doing every time. Literally gaining uh, gaining healing while playing. Actually insane. Uh oh. There was nothing else down here. Hmm. I don't want anything to do with this. Can we not fight the Harpies, please? <sighs> Worse. These are the guys that are going to force me potentially to go back. What are you pickpocketing? Are you stealing my cash? I saw a toy hammer. What a jerk. Alright, I'm taking manual control. Poison's okay. We have a lot of cures for poison. We have no counterplay to disease. So we are going to take manual control for a while. I don't like that I'm forced to do this, but... Do this. I think it's... I think it's time to get serious. It's, ti it's time to just do a, a Kirk in the face until they die. Don't move me between the other attack and getting... They stole medicine! No! That's a really counterplay to their BS. Oh, I hope we get our items back. Please kill them before they run. Please kill them before they run. Damage was okay. Killed two. Time to get Kirked. How much does this do out of curiosity? 119, so it's even stronger than the other character's ability. All right, so we did receive our items back at least. Good. Yeah, that fight sucks. I have an okay amount of antidotes. Six will get us, I think, through the rest of the dungeon. I'm worried about our medicine count, though. Maybe I should have bought more. I'm so close to the lamp. So sad. As long as I killed the Dryad here, we should be fine. So this fight is also worth a lot of experience, but I don't think the gold is worth it. If we get a counterattack here, he might die. Getting Hunter, that's fun. Cowboy did level again. That's actually pretty huge. So now, as I said before, I feel like now I'm a little overleveled. Unfair. Hmm. Let's have her just... We'll Kirk plus plus them. I don't feel like messing around. Two hundred and forty damage. Whoa. So she already one shots them. <laughs> Maybe we need to start giving her agility. Holy. Deleted chat. Yeah, that damage was insane. Curiosity. So there's nothing else to do here, right? Hmm. That is a lot of XP. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna Kirk plus plus them. This now we're getting about 120-ish XP, which is kind of worth it because within five of that we need 560 to level, which is where we're about currently. So yeah, this this is just ludicrous damage. The one shot is real. Hunter gained a level, so hopefully stats are a little stronger. 
I'm gonna go relight the lamps, I guess. Starting with the furthest one. Work our way forward. That way I can possibly light the one on the way back. Uh, I don't think I need to fight anymore. Hopefully I can avoid the combat. Good. I think I need to take literally every fight. As I said before, I want to I wanna reduce it. Even though the fights are really good right now, I don't need that many, I don't think. Uh, so I'm going to bomb that rock, go up, light the other lamp, and go forward. I think that should give us the time that we need. So this is a, a scenario where I really don't mind burning a carrot, because the, the Kirk++ plus plus is insane here. Man, this spell is so nice. The fact that it can hit across things that aren't grouped is so useful. Another heal berry acquired. Excellent. Yeah, so see how I have to do this long trek back? Gives us the perfect amount of time to go relight this without an issue. Perfect. Then we'll run forward. Take some damage. That's fine. Yeah, I'm glad we found that. That saves so much time. Uh, I think we should just auto-battle this. I don't think this is worth the MP. I'm not even going to use a carrot yet, because if there's not a boss, I might be able to just use an in and get all of our MP back. So at least I'm playing a little more aggressively with our MP. I feel like Hunter only realistically needs about 20 MP ever to beat a boss. I don't, unless I really need the group AoE, because 4 MP is good enough for me. I don't think most bosses have really survived more than 30 MP's worth of spells, let alone 34. And if we level again, then we get more MP. That crit, though, smacked him in the face. So many extra heal berries acquired. <laughs> Holy, speaking of which. So, yeah, see, now we need 800 or so. So he's not at a level that realistically we could achieve again. Honestly, I'm not even going to heal. I think it's needed. Alright, so we've gotten this. Hmm. There's a fork in the road. I guess we'll go left when in doubt. I mean, that, that's that been our rule of thumb. If Whenever we want to go find items, we go to the left. Can I get greedy here? And just focus these guys. Save a little bit of MP here. I mean, as long as I'm not poisoned, I'm fine. Then it just means we go up and up. But we have a hilarious amount of healing now. I went from like low 30s to 40 something, by the way. We have over 3,000 in cash, so that means I could probably get another weapon upgrade at the arms. The rest could go towards weapons. Maybe some status cures, just to be safe. Oh, it, it damages you while you're holding the item? That is unfortunate. Uh, Olive Branch. Nullify Disease. Alright, so I could make myself immune to it if I want to. I wish it didn't require me giving up something that actually gives me good stats, though. She feels really bad. She's apparently at best luck at the moment. So maybe she's just more likely to crit, which is okay. I mean, it's like she's somewhat useful in a battle if she could crit more consistently. Uh, I don't think I want this battle. I'm gonna assume to the left will be a lamp, or else we're in trouble. Okay, there is. Pressed... Wrath. Okay. So, now I have to think to ourselves, like, what spell should we... So we could potentially have a lot of spells. I didn't realize how big it scrolled until just now. 
But I think from this standpoint, what do we want the most? We have we have Kirk plus plus, which is one of the best random mob killers in the game. We have Kirk by itself, which is okay versus groups. We have Dave, which is our boss slayer. Wide open, hopefully will behave a little better, and we have escape. I could technically make it cure magic. I don't know if I should take thunder as an alternative. We might have to just look at MP costs. If there's something that costs between four and eight, that's an offensive spell it might be worth taking. We're having like wind, for example, as an element versus wind and water might cover more territory with us. So this is a scenario where I think it's okay to Sonic Blast them. And I think due to her high luck score, she seems to be critting basically every time. So despite her having base weapon, she's doing fine in combat due to the crits. So yeah, definitely seems like it's worth eating a million flowers to correct, correct our luck in certain fights. Oh, this is over. Nice counterattack. Saved us some time. Girl is leveled. Nice. So she's sitting at a whopping 39 MP. So we found the guards. What's this place, though? We're gonna bomb this before going further. Magic map acquired. Magic map shows known towns. Okay, so I'm just assuming it's an enhancement to the mini-map. And with that, we barely used that much MP, and we are way higher level than we were earlier. So if anything wants to fight me between me and the town, I'm definitely just going to kill them at this point. Water Village in Malama is further south, okay. Just looking around in the overworld. Like again, if they try to stop me, I'm just going to nuke them at this point. I don't care. Oh, it's this fight again. That's what we like to call poor choices on their behalf. So let's Sonic Buster and then have Girl just Kirk them. Just regular Kirk. They're not worthy of Kirk++. Here it goes, chat. Look at that damage. Like, that's actually good damage. 130 is as much as he did there. So she's on par with his AoE damage already. So there's a... Guardian Shrine. How ominous. Chains of Ice is binding the door. A small circular indentation lies below the inscription. When the time comes, show the sign. Uh, let, let's come back here later. Presumably, as soon as we're done with the village, we're supposed to go here. And or we need to acquire the item to open the dungeon. So what's over here? Another bridge. Hmm. L Pyramid? Hmm. How hard are these fights are the question we should be asking ourselves right now? Oh, ew. Um... I think we need to end this encounter. The harpies are bad news for us. Let's just kill them. Well, they seem to be outspeeding us pretty heavily, which is unfortunate. Oh, didn't want to get diseased. That's like the only one I don't want to see, chat. Poison? Whatever. Money steal? Whatever. Disease? Actually garbage. Yeah, she's legit critting, like, every time. So I think the luck up on her has been surprisingly good. So at least we get money to then get disease cures, I suppose. Alright, so we have a pyramid we could go to eventually. I could take a look briefly to see what it's like. Sealed by magic. Okay, nothing else we can do here. So let's proceed to the town. So I'm not in like a huge rush. We have enough medicines to maybe get through one more set of harpies. Malama village, anything south of them? Not really. Little last bit of cash here. Hmm... 
I mean, at least they're worth a lot of cash. I'll give them that. So yeah, I like being able to choose between Kirk and Kirk++. Plus Plus. I think that... I think that lets me make the right decisions, either from MP perspective or just being able to potentially do massive damage on people that aren't in groups. I think having both of those options has been pretty crucial. I'm wondering if the enemies are weak to wind or thunder, though, the ones that we've been fighting. So it might be worth picking up a wind spell if we fight more of these. Actually, let's not heal them. Let's go to the village. We're going to sleep. We're going to sleep off poison, presumably. This is my huge, rich, and full of water, the oasis of the world. Oh boy, when we run it flickers faster. Let's heal here before I drive chat wild. Only 30 gold at the new location. So this is becoming rapidly more affordable. That does not cure status ailments. Oh. I guess you do have to use the church or whatever. Oh, that's kind of annoying. have to say, not a fan of that. I mean, I knew the churches would potentially cure it, but I was hoping for, like, minor ones it would get cured. Oh, well. I want to hear the town's protected by power of their guardians, but she doesn't believe it. Well, that's because you're a fool. Uh, let's investigate barrels. Party apple acquired. Let's give that to the girl. She slowly becomes less frail. Oops. We're going to the Guardian Temple. I almost thought it said Guardian. I'm not going to lie with the font. I have to do a double take there. Stop by the pub first. The owner might have some information for you. Okay. So we're given a destination in town. There's the church. I could use the cure status ailments. And has always been blessed with a lot of water. I wonder if there's something to do with the Guardians of the North. Yeah, I kind of wish I'd cute ribbon acquired. I kind of wish I wasn't choosing between, like, a shield and, like, a normal accessory. I feel like they should have had one more slot. Like, left- right hand, left hand for, like, shields or, like, other kinds of things, and then, like, just literally accessory. Cute ribbon's worth only one extra point of defense. It's not really- really worth it, I would say. I think we could agree, chat. What a what a lame upgrade. Ten gallon hat acquired. I'm assuming it's for the hunter. Now, see, wait, hold on. Her defense increase was one. His was seven. Yeah, this is why we chat. This is why we don't bother buying armor. <laughs> we got that for free. I got rewarded for not bothering to get armor. Long ago, there were many like me that came to the Cave of the East. I gotta get back to work. Welcome, what can I do for you? Oh, wait, what? You only reduce damage by 11? That's it? Like, again, in a world where I'm taking 90 damage, I'm not impressed. I need this to be, like, 20 minimum. I'm not spending 480 on that. No thanks. All right, chat? Nope. Oops, all offense continues. Mystic Apple acquired. I want her to get it because she has been racking up the damage. Like, Kirk Kirk is already murdering everything. Kirk++ plus plus was really good against groups, and now it just does more damage. Hey, girls. I was just fooling around, but now she's crying. Wah, wah, my brother won't stop teasing me. I just want to get to the bookshelf. Book entitled The Tale, Tale of the Sheriff. Do you want to read it? Sure. True bravery will be rewarded with the sheriff's title. The bravery badge is called a sheriff star. Do you understand? Hmm... So I'm guessing at some point, if we look at our characters, maybe we can class up on certain certain things. Yeah, Kirk is literally just obliterating every encounter he's allowed to do. I might just give Agile up to her, just so she could go faster. Like, we gave a decent amount to the first character. But if she was faster, another spell usage. Hmm. I'm really not sure what to take. We'll probably name something after Chaos Vania. Maybe in Parameter we'll have a spell as well. So you can see nothing remains of the deep guardian worship that used to go on here. Okay. I'm stuck randomly. I probably want wind damage, maybe thunder for more elemental coverage. I could scan in a boss to see what the weakness is, but that would require turns of not dealing damage. <laughs> I don't know if I really want to do that. If there was like an AoE heal, I would have taken it for sure. 
from the spells, but it looked like they're only single use cures, which is not useful to me. The game, I think, was also hinting that there's like another set of spells beyond the ones that we have, because they said that they sealed away the spells. So it's possible that we have like, like what would be considered like initiate spells and then we get like advanced spells later. That way she has more spell combos. Because otherwise, I mean, if you do the math chat, there are definitely more slots here than there are spells. So like you have to think there has to be some combination. Because you have to view it this way, chat. Like, an entire spell's worth, I think it's either this row or this row, for an entire element. So even if you do that again, you still have, like, another half a page to go. You've come as good as me. You can kill those monsters with one strike of the Force. Indeed. You blow their brains out with the Force. Hmm... Healberry acquired. I'm feeling pretty confident in our healing total. We're at 40 and I still have like five super heals, which we save for bosses. Great team chasers use tools with sophistication. Do you consider yourself great? She asks, but we never answer. You know what I consider myself? A mad bomber. Take that random chests. Agile apple, power apple, super healing. Wow, what a great town. All right, let's actually speed up her ever so slightly. Power Apple... Technically would always be worth giving to the hunter because the boy will sometimes just use guns. I think this might be the last time I bother strength upping him, just so he gets like minimum damage. Pub owner, pub owner claims to be the son of a guardian priest. Hmm. Because the other guy is more likely to attack and attack first, but at the same time if we hit a certain damage threshold it would be worth using the Power Apples. Also we got 690 Jella, which is silly. Because I think even if I buy all weapon upgrades, I'm still going to have like 3k left over. Assuming there's a weapon shop somewhere. And again, notice my severe lack of not caring about the armor upgrades. I think that's kind of like the beginner's folly. You, especially if you play like Etrian, you just learn that certain items just don't do as much as you think they would. And they're just terrible. Yeah, let's get like 11 medicines. So that's where our extra cash is going to go do. I'm going to get... Like, four more antidotes, because defense won't really apply to that. I'll get a couple of roses for now, but nothing has silenced us so far. Eat salve seems like it would be useful in the future. Let's cure some confusions. Forgetfulness, I'm imagining, just means we don't get XP. Okay, we'll just get a little bit of everything. We have at least four of all the major ones, and whatever we have left will go towards weapons and arms. That did cost quite a bit of money, sadly. But we should be getting more soon, so it shouldn't be too bad. You never get a drink in the pub. It's always too crowded. Okay. How much is this a stat increase? Nine. Thank you, Imperimeter, for the good luck. Might be worth it. So let's see, if I do that now, I won't be able to get an arm, but the regular encounters would be faster. Might Blade is definitely worth taking on this character. Yeah, I guess I could just buy it all. I skipped one of her upgrades, so that's like kind of worth it. Maybe with her, I'll do like every two upgrades. Because nine damage is enough, I think, with crits to make a difference. Four, I don't think is. Let's sell a couple of mage staffs, actually. I don't think I'm going to use her Force Command anytime soon. Don't need these. It's even an okay amount of cash back. Not the best, but we're getting there. Oh, you can sell the spells? Oh, that's... Okay, good. I was going to say, you better not let me sell that. That's insane. Hope not. Nine magic carrots, which is way more than I need for pretty much anything. Because our spells don't seem to be getting more expensive either. Alright, so we get another black magic type. Blind, I don't care about. Fire might be okay. Wind might be fine. Sunny enemy abilities. Eh. Thunder magic group. Interesting. Earth spells.
Hmm. I'll make a thunder spell for now. I just want to see how much MP it is and whether it's worth me taking. It also costs eight. So it's very similar to regular Kirk. Kirk is... Kirk doesn't have any element, though, which is sometimes useful if I don't know their type. Hmm. Is there any buff spell that's worth taking? No, no, no. I mean, I could see about Berserk, but... Break from party. Over partial HP. Speed up. Mm. Uh, Berserk could be good. It's just how overkill do I want it to be. Holy could be useful. Hmm. Might be better for me to just stick to offensive magic for now, though. Infuse, fire. Wind attack. Yeah, let's just get wind for now. That way I just have more elemental coverage. Hmm. Name this one Sylvania. name let's see spark can be I think of I think amp just makes sense there we go chat name and a play on what it actually does Yeah, so we have two elemental attacks. We have ice and wind. We also have thunder. If we think that they are weak to it, which the harpies might be. So we'll leave it there for now. I wasn't seeing too many other spells that I'm interested in. So I think we got mostly what I'm looking for already, which is good. To be a warrior when I grow up. Yeah, yeah. This place is huge, by the way. Metal band acquired. Oh, did I get armor for Cowboy, who I haven't updated at all either? Nice. Look at that, chat. Look at that. Free defense. Worth exploring. See, take notes, Trials of Mana. This is the kind of reward I wanted to see in the SNES game. What do you guys want? We're gonna say come to visit the Guardian. Guardians are north of the town. Did you see them on the way? We're still looking for the pub, which I haven't found. There's a dog guarding the door, so I can't go there yet. Required even more cash. I mean, our cash level is looking pretty nice still. So I basically got free armor upgrades, and I paid for my weapon improvements. Does this leave town, or is there another portion to the town? Sounds like we left town. So we didn't find the pub, but we found a whole bunch of items. Hmm. Was there something next to the inn that I missed? No. Also want to check one barrel, just in case she was blocking me from it. Okay. So we just got to find the pub. I think we've gotten pretty much everything. And if I happen to miss something small, it's fine. It's the item shop. Uh, we went from behind here at one point. I'm not gonna lie, their pub is not in a good spot. If, if I don't instantly find it walking into the town, like, where the heck is this? 
<laughs> like in the far corner? Like what's going on? Yeah, we went in here before. Um uh, I'll try this building. Make sure that we went in here. There's a pyramid part to the north of here. We couldn't enter the chamber because the door is sealed by magic. Oh, no, no, we read that before. Hmm. Where is our destination? So clearly we need something from the other god to advance, but on the flip side, we now do hilariously more damage across every character. We're also tankier without me needing to spend any money towards it. We have a lot of supplies to deal with. Uh... Wait, how do you sort again? There we go. We have a lot of supplies to deal with bosses. I even have nine carrots. So if I just wanted to nuke an entire dungeon, we're good. Hmm. So yeah, there's nothing else we could do here. So it had to have been on the right side of town somewhere, but I just didn't see it in the massive amount of buildings that I investigated. I missed the pub somehow. Let's go this way. I think we checked out all the barrels, just double checking. We went into the weapons store, right? That was the inn. This is just a house. This isn't a pub. Hmm. <laughs> right, chat? Tell him to get better signage. <laughs> I guess it has to be up here somewhere, right? Like... Oh, jeez, whatever. Chat, whatever. Oh my gosh, it was nowhere near anything. So let me get this straight. Yeah, oh dear indeed. Was this like the only path I didn't take? And it is at the back of town, by the way. Running time protecting the llama isn't doing so well. The shrine is in shambles. Is it because we lost our faith? Yeah, like I can't even see it from any of the other paths. And there's only one way to get to it. And it's really deep in the city, too. And it's behind, like, the magic store and stuff like that. Why? Check the barrels out. I doubt we'll get any more items. I feel like we got basically everything. Leads to the cave, there's a desolate ocean made of sand. Beyond that, there's a town called Ship Graveyard. Are, are you sure that's a town? From what I hear, only the best dream chasers will get through the cave. Or the town of Aldehyde was under attack by demons. There's no alcohol in this. No, that's impossible. Owner's father was the guardian priest. I almost said guardian again. What do you want? I'm busy right now. Can you come back later? Do you want to ask the pub owner about the guardian shrine? Yes. The guardians. I didn't think anyone knew about them anymore. Maybe of some help. My father was the last keeper of the guardian temple. He told me many stories. Wait until the customers are gone, will you? This isn't a temple I'm running here. So why don't we eat something while we wait? And girl says, okay, five hamburgers, please. Wow, it's a lot of food for you guys. Who's going to eat all of it? I guess it's a haha -ha because she eats food. Can't believe you had seconds. Magic casting requires a lot of energy. Infected with Charlotte such Alicia, my vocabulary is now totally wooened. Yeah, something like that. That's why I always, that's why I'm always hungry after a battle. Plus, I love hamburgers. Learned how fun it was to eat through cooking, eating hamburgers at the alley. Alley, at the abbey, excuse me. Everyone loves me because I'm a princess, not because I'm a girl. If people need me because of what I symbolize, then I shall do what's asked of me. I will retrieve the teardrop. Okay, I'm ready. Let's talk about the guardians. It's a room that only priests were permitted to see. Father wanted me to be a priest because he made me memorize the passwords of the room. Write this down. Oh no, what is this? Okay, chat, time to, I guess, time to write it down. I'm just gonna put a new tab here. Light fire at 2, then 10, then 6. So it sounds like a clock. Doors open at 12. Go through the temple with the light. I don't know what this means, but I'm sure you'll find out. Take this with you. My father left this for me, but I don't need it anymore. Holy metal acquired. I'm assuming this is the key we needed to insert. A guardian servant's metal. 
What was that other staircase in the Guardian Temple, though? I'm gonna check that out first. Dango says, I eat my traditional American hamburger and my traditional American katatsu. Exactly. Welcome, Dango. Hopefully you're doing well. Look at us run. Bonk. Let's go save, and then I guess we could do this dungeon. I did promise a slightly longer session today. I think we could go forward with that. So yeah, more defense, way more damage. All we need to do now is... Solve some puzzles, I guess. So what was over here? Oh, it was the puzzle room. Okay. Two. Then ten. Then six. Door opens at twelve. Okay. Straight forward, I guess. Back down the stairs we go. Mm hmm. When the time comes, show the sign. Do I just use it? There we go. That wasn't too bad, I guess. Let's see how hard these fights are. Just one Lizardman, that's it. I mean, now we should just straight up one-shot them, because our weapons got improved. Cowboys leveled? Well, that's just unfair. Ooh, treasure chest. Another magic carrot, excellent. Ooh, there's like another hallway here. Yeah, where's the spell to reduce encounter rate? Right, chat? Sphinx? Sure, we'll just normal attack it. As I mentioned earlier, we should be doing an insane amount of damage due to the upgrades. So she, unfortunately, is still weak. But hey, we did enough. 120 by itself? Okay. So if we're within 600 to level, it's, like, kind of worth it. Ooh. 1200. Okay, so level 11 is a bit high. That's fine. There's a chest in here. Another spell. Maybe we can name one for Dango or something like that. Hmm. I I'm sorry, what are we looking at? Critters and cockatrices. Okay. I think it's time to just Kirk them. I think it's time to Kirk them. Oh, they only have 74 health? Alright, maybe we didn't need to Kirk them. Kirk them might be a little extreme. Well, they're definitely dead after this. Four hundred and fourteen? Holy deleted. That was unnecessary. Hunter's gone up a level. Another heal berry acquired, antidote acquired. Yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty good about our level right now. Hit a save point already? Hmm. I'm gonna go back and check the other side. So we could probably name one after Dango. What else could we do? I'm not sure what other spells to get. Like, we have, a. Uh, I think... Earth left and fire? Paralysis is not what I wanted. Man, I really like that we don't seem to be able to avoid status ailments at all. We just take it. Okay, her damage was actually relevant. So getting antidotes does not help me. Does this fade between combats? It does not. 
Yeah, that's what I was worried about. We'll get more heat salves later. Another spell. Interesting. I would like to not fight these. Ugh. I, I tried doing the right thing of avoiding the encounter. Come on, seriously? <sighs> I do not appreciate this on many levels. I only- I bought heat salves. We only had one in our inventory before, as a reminder. I didn't think we would be fighting paralysis so early. I stocked up on like almost literally everything but that. Like our antidotes are up, our medicines are up. I have some other ones which seem, you know, temporary. Super unfortunate. Their magic carrot acquired. Does that mean there's anything down here? Oops, attacked. Please stop, stop making us fight her. Okay, leave. Not worth the XP. There we go. Ooh, there's chests here. Mystic Apple. Mystic Apple. Mystic Apple. Well, I think her damage is about to go through the roof, chat. It seems like Mystic Apple adds a random amount, because I got 121, so it's possible I could try to save Scummit, quote unquote, in order to get the best stats, but I'm gonna opt not to. I feel like the only time I have permission to save state is if the game is like actively wasting our time, like with that stealth section. Otherwise, I'll just retry where we gotta retry. So yeah, weapon upgrade definitely required here, because she wouldn't even be able to hurt this thing at all. We picked up some antidotes, which that's what I was expecting based off of what we fought outside. We acquired more cash to get more heat salves, because we're going to need quite a few of those, I have a feeling, by the end of the game. If there's a spell that cures condition, I'll check again. Not HP, specifically condition. I would want her to get it, so that way I can stop using the consumables there. Um... Should be fun. Again, her counterattacks have been oh have been pretty good for the most part. Sadly, she missed for the first time in a while. Goody, strong enough to one shot. That saves us a lot of time. She deals enough damage to one shot. Nice. Not worth a lot of money though. So that combo is worth XP, but not money. Hmm. I still don't really need to heal. I'm not even that injured. So we have a very good amount of HP. So let's see what's beyond here. I'm imagining there's more puzzles of some sort. Hmm. Ooh, I think I messed up the puzzle. Oh, unless... First try? Really? What? Okay, what, chat, whatever. You know what, we'll take it. Listen. <laughs> Okay, sure, I solved it. I just picked randomly. Hello, Big Mirror. I can't believe I first tried that puzzle. That looked like that could have gone so horribly wrong. I understand, Staldark. We must go there. Yeah, that was definitely dumb luck. I was very shocked. I thought we were going to have to redo it a couple times. What are you planning to do now, Princess? Uh-oh, she went into the Mirror World chat. Hey, follow her. All of a sudden, cowboy and girl were gone. They found themselves on a strange landscape. 
Each character will be played separately from here. Please switch characters and play them one by one. Oh. Um, are there encounters? There are. Interesting. No. Oh, come on. Right, Chad? I don't mind fighting like one, but three? Ugh. That is really annoying. I didn't think they would ever really split the party again, but here we are. Hmm. Well, I'm glad that I at least gave them some offense. If I had to play girl without any offense magic, I would have been so mad if I was a player playing her like a white mage. She just gets solo battles for no reason. That would have been pretty irritating. Fortunately, we players are more of a black mage. I think we're fine. 180 experience. It's kind of worth it. Yeah, you get it's like... That's just so rude. So five of those would be worth it for us if we could complete five encounters here. But if not, it doesn't really matter. Nice. I might as well just grab extra XP. He at least has an AoE clear. I should be able to just do this. Nice dodge. I'm glad to see us actually not getting hit 100% of the time now. Nice little encounter ender. Another heal berry acquired. So that's fair. I can trade MP for heal berries. Uh, okay. I chose the only wrong path, apparently. Can't shoot the mouse through there. I mean, I'm just gonna keep using this. So we're gonna need to buy at least 10 more uh, paralysis, cure paralysis cures. So that's gonna cost us about 500 or about 10 battles worth of these battles. Because I do not want to deal with paralysis. That ailment looked horrible, given how long it lasted. Extra heal berries is good. So I could just auto-attack the next time we do this and save MP. <sighs> Seriously. I don't know if that was the intended solution, but that's what I did. I don't think I was supposed to do that. I think I was supposed to go on the left side, but I was like, listen. Uh-oh, chat. The sword contains the power I've been seeking. Now I can have my revenge. This is absolute power. We attained the mana sword, chat. W what happened? Oh, where am I? Vast nothingness. It's like a dream. Someone out there? Come out, whoever you are. No way. It can't be. You're the one who ran, coward. You seek power, but you refuse to use it. I've never run from anything before. I've accepted every challenge I've faced. You ran from your friends and your responsibilities, but most of all, you ran from yourself. Don't you get it? A coward can destroy, but true power is the power of protection. I know that. I, I really do. This is why I'm seeking it. Hmm... Oh, sissy. Please be patient. Oh, lots of people we don't recognize. Wait a minute. I'm gonna be alone again. Alright, so presumably I gotta wait now. So let's play as... Cowboy here. I feel like this was a, a pretty unnecessary padding. Yeah, can we agree, like, 
did this really add to the story in any way, what we're doing right now? With the individual characters? At least this portion of it. Like, the flashbacks or whatever. But, like, what did this do? Big question marks, chat. Uh, I think I'm gonna shoot you in your dumb face. Did I really whiff the 89% when it- the only time it mattered? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Fine, I'll shoot one more time. You better not miss. You owe me a strike. <laughs> Chad, I- I- I missed two one in- one in tens in a row of missing. I can't believe that. How? I know almost a 90% chance of hitting. That really sucks. What a waste of bullets. Three hundred and sixty experience. Wait, that fight is absolutely insane. Wait, five five of those battles is gonna put me at like level twelve. Holy! How come his fights are so much better, XP wise, than the other guys? Feels kind of unfair, Chat. Can we agree? This is gonna be a way a way over level compared to everybody else now. Oh, there's a hole there. You got me, game. Truly a test of skills and wit. Ah, yes. Scarecrow. New enemy type. Might as well just kill it. Oh, they make cat noises again for no reason. Brutal attack. How much damage is brutal? 59 is not that brutal. As long as I kill this one here, I don't have to heal. Hmm. This is getting interesting. Show us the cat, yeah, pretty much. Nice counter attack. Counter attacking here is huge. 240, went up a level. So speaking of out leveling the entire party, Brutal Attack just roared at us, something like that. Though again, his area is like the best for power leveling. Like, what is this? So I need 1,600 to level, or about five battles with the Sphinx, which is not that many, if you hear that out loud. that That is really not that many battles at all. So this is just pick a path with more steps. Thank you, game. I mean, I'm definitely not going to run from any encounters when we're like this. It's a lot of XP. Wish I had more abilities than just gun, though. Nice. So we do enough minimum damage to one-shot, and that's all that matters. So this speeds up this fight significantly, the fact that we are now one-shotting consistently. Thank you, level up. And we're not taking that much damage thanks to the new armor. That I didn't pay for. 100 money. Uh, it's like two more medicines. Chat, why? At least, like, with Hanpan, you could save time with, like, skill shots. This one's just like, nah. We're just gonna straight up waste your time. Well, anyway, he has hilariously more XP than everybody else now. I think he's almost an entire level above people now. And rising. Because he was already about 100 ahead of the hunter, and he was like 300 above the girl. He's now almost 1,000 ahead of the girl, I believe. Yeah, so three more of those fights and I would level. I'm willing to do one more fight because the XP is stupid. Just one more, though. And then I'll actually I'll heal now. Do a little spin in place. Hopefully we can summon it. Uh, I'm gonna go to the end of this path and I'm gonna run forward. And if I don't get the battle, it is what it is. Yeah, we didn't get it. Tony says the monsters are coming. Take that mirror. I'm scared. Just as scary as the monsters. Your powers are not like ours. There's no place for you in this world. You're not needed here. Nobody wants to be with you. 
You're a stranger. Who are you fighting for, stranger? So, you use your powers to help people, eh? What does that prove? You're still distancing yourself from people. Arms contain a form of energy that is different from the one found in humans. They could have originally belonged to the demons. You're another monster. I don't want you and Philgalia. Just look at you. Philgalia, excuse me. Oh no, chat. We are the monster in the mirror. Man is the monster. Philgalia isn't for you. You don't belong here. Damn, we just, we just got soul crushed. Oh boy, we have to progress through the dungeon as her. What's her MP looking like? Oh, it's still a 67? That's not too bad then. Oh my Oh my gosh! Pick a path! Chat, come on! What is that? Oh, so if I just went right, I would have just been wasting my time? Oh my gosh. Wild Arms, please. You were doing so well. Don't don't take notes from Terra Enigma. Jeez. I'm gonna guess right this time. Oh, come on. Double left. Jeez, come on. I'm gonna check the side again. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I got two out of three correct. Uh so you just want me to do this, right? I mean, that's at least an actual puzzle. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, we didn't even get into an encounter with her. That's kind of sad. She is so far under level chat now. No, not Aldehyde Castle. The priestess herself is coming to save the world. May the guardians be with her. The princess is responsible for being a princess. Remember that. Damn, chat. She, she's going to get no XP. She is, she is legit like 800 below the party. Or about 12 battles now below them, which is pretty painful. I know, I know, but... Have you noticed that no one calls you by your name? Huh? The princess is a symbol. Girl is not. Do you understand? Which is ironic given that there's the, the symbols in her name, but that that's fine. Please, not you too, father. You knew no one loved you. So what's the surprise? Are you me? The other girl says, You requested this dangerous adventure because you wanted to be loved by someone. You're going to save the world because it's your duty as a princess. <laughs> princess is a symbol, girl is not, it has symbols, that's true. But what you really want is sympathy, you hypocrite. Am I wrong? Answer me. No one loves you. You don't love anyone. Wake up. This is the girl Stoldart has chosen. The voice inside my heart is the voice of the Guardian. <laughs> I almost did it again, chat. What a weak mind, says the second voice. The weakening of the world is really the weakening of the human soul. Gardajef, do you really want to let this one decide Philgaia's destiny? What? What do you hear? Listen, Moagalt, we have no choice. I don't really know how to give them emotions yet to make them different. So for now, we'll give them a similar voice until we see them a bit more. Read more of their dialogue. Girl says, I can feel the emotions of the Guardians in my heart. The anger and rage. The doubt and sorrow. Damn you, show yourself. Stop toying with us. Oh, there you go. I am the Earth Guardian, Gardajef. We heard you answer our call. I am the Fire Guardian, Moa Galt. I have looked into your soul. It is weak and vulnerable. It is not strong enough to defeat the demons we've been fighting with for the past a thousand years. I am the Wind Guardian, Fengalan. We are the spirits of the Guardians, and we need your help. You may be right, Fengalon. Look at them. They look defeated. Nevertheless, they are only hope. I'm not deaf or blind. Damn you. Why have you been showing us these illusions? Answer me, Guardians. You must understand. We do not have enough power to fight the demons. We must get the teardrop back. We need its power to defend Philgaia. Yeah, Fengalon is like 80% forehead for sure. 
The teardrop? How do you know? We know. We can feel its power. The teardrop is that light that gives life. Yes, it is the same light that gives us life. Which means you hold the key to our existence. What do the demons want with the teardrop? Do they want to destroy the world with it? Hmm. With the teardrop, it is possible. The demons, however, are trying to use it to revive their master, the mother. Girls and Jelena met their match, oh no. The mother. So that's the name of their master, huh? Warriors, do you still seek our power? We can't possibly do this ourselves. I want the power. I want to defeat them. Because you are weak, you seek power. Should give you the power that you seek, but time is running out. You have the power to summon us into your reality. Summon Guardian Force Acquired. Take our powers before they weaken any further. Stop the demons from regenerating the mother. We shall send our warriors to their lair. How is that possible? We have our ways. It sends the power of the teardrop. The only way a warrior with a weak mind is able to defeat the enemy is by striking its heart. Come now, show us your faith and leap. Okay. To reclaim the teardrop, we... Uh oh, fade to white. Hmm. What happened? That was a shot from the Dark Spear of Zeichfried. We're not strong enough to transport to the battle. Go now, I will guide you to your destiny. You must prevent Mother. Garnajef! The teardrop is a source of life. I don't know who said that. Maybe it's Garnajef. So sadly, chat, I wonder if we're going to get another weapon upgrade coming up. If so, I'm going to skip this weapon upgrade since we seem to be strong enough. It should not be used for the birth of destruction. So yeah, we'll we'll skip. I don't think I'll grind in case we don't have it. Zeichfried says, That damn guardian. He scanned this area with his mind. Of course. Lady Harkin says, His scans have been shut off. The Duke's mansion is superb. And now we know the humans are in contact with the guardians. We have a few problems. When the fight is lost, the decay begins. Look at this place. It's a dying land of cowards. Humans, elves, and the guardians. The defenses are no longer effective. They don't even have a world to defend. We have nothing to fear from the guardians. Oh, oh no. It's a different version of Fennel, chat. Al... Al Hazad says... That is correct, my lord. Now the elves are no longer helping the humans. They don't stand a chance. I know. When I watched them this squirm in the, the flames, I could feel my power. We should have gotten the teardrop with less destruction. What? What are you talking about, you newbie? Both of you, stop it. We, the Quarter Knights, gather for a single purpose. We must break the seal which binds our leader, Mother. The dreaded guardian seal must be undone. Sorry, this one is mine. Why should he have all the fun? Mother, when you finally wake, will the rest of the Quarter Knights share our dreams? There you go. Nice little science lab with Mother in it. So we didn't find any bosses. If I have to get only one, one, one weapon upgrade, I think it's going to go to Hunter. I'm not going to worry about the other two, since I did upgrade them semi-recently at least. And presumably against bosses, uh, Cowboy will probably be using Gun, and her magic isn't really impacted by weapons. So we're probably going to skip her next couple upgrades for weapons on top of that. Since melee doesn't super matter. 
Although eight points was fine for the price. I just don't think if I if I spend a thousand and only get eight points, I don't think it's worth it. If I spend two thousand but go up like twenty later, I think that would be worth it. Where are we? The place of the seal. Gordichev said he would lead us here, but it doesn't seem like there's anything here. Mother, it's the first thing I heard before I fainted. You're saying the demon boss is buried somewhere around here? I don't like this, not at all. Being dragged everywhere by the guardians and having to save the world. What is this? All of a sudden, girl noticed she was holding three stone slabs. Earth rune acquired, fire acquired, wind acquired. These slabs contain the spirits of Gardachev and the other guardians. What is the seal that the guardians are willing to risk the lesser of strength to protect? Can I go to my inventory? I can. Which one improves damage the most? Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes. So she just has sorcery up, which I think is fine for her. Do something that improves speed? Yes. I don't think I care about tankiness. Like, chat to me to, to defense or go before the enemy. I think that, I think that solves itself, chat. <laughs> Okay, so there is another village here. Let's at least go to the village in a moment. I got... Let's go to 3,000 in cash. Also, I noticed I went up in MP. Did it... I guess it healed me? Yeah, let's get into one battle just to see what's out here. But I think we'll be stopping within the town itself. Since we did clear the dungeon. Oh, harpies. Come on, not this enemy. Literally any enemy type at this, right, chat, please? Uh, I'm gonna try killing them with amp. And of course they disease. Oh, I resisted it that time. That's good. I didn't get to see if they're weak to thunder, though. Girl has leveled. She definitely needs it because she's underleveled. So her having 80 MP is kind of huge. So already potentially eight spell casts of Kirk plus plus is kind of insane. But even in a boss fight, like I don't think I'm ever gonna even use like 40 MP if it only costs four, unless we get some seriously stronger spells. I don't see how that's really fair. Baskar village is there. Let's investigate. Yeah, I guess it just really depends on where they want us to go and how hard it is. But we'll probably stop here. Okay, so he said people are not willing to buy anything. What do you have here? Claymore. That's a pretty big jump in damage. I don't know if I can ignore that. That's almost 15 points. Alright, so let's... Let's buy just for the two of them then and ignore armor as usual. We definitely need more heat solves. I'm willing to spend at least six worth so we'll hopefully find some money walking around the town she'll use whatever she has currently okay, just making sure it auto equipped sell some items so we could get one more that's okay we could technically buy her weapon upgrade, but I, I don't think it's worth it. So we'll save our money for an arms upgrade, maybe. When I get to the pyramid altar in the village, the security is too tight. Here, there's a lot of valuable treasures in there. Another spell. So again, our money's gonna go up, and the cost for arms is gonna be static for a while. Hmm, nothing of interest there. The far side of the northeast, there's a ruin which belonged to the L. The L were an ancient race of magical beings who live in harmony with the laws of nature. Even though I saw the people of Baskar is closer to that of L than that of outsiders. Hmm. 800 cash, that's pretty good. I think I need 3k to upgrade the gun. Which is probably our next big priority. And another reason I don't feel it's worth leveling the girl. So the, the girl is good enough, and her weapon... If her weapon boosted magic damage, I would be much more inclined to upgrade her weapon more often. Times like these, I have to keep myself together. I'm worried so much lately. According to our chief's dream, there's a terrible event that's about to take place in the world. 
We the people of Baskar gave up weapons long ago, but we're willing to fight for what's important. Even if that means picking up our weapons again. I almost feel obligated to get more percentage towards gun. Because eventually we're going to get uh, new force abilities, presumably at some point. Not sure how we could check those, actually. I think we can. Hmm. No, I don't think I can. So we'll see if we unlock new force abilities at some point, because that would really dictate to us. I'm going to make her go faster. Her being able to nuke faster, I think, is more important than the other guy moving at this point. So I think from that standpoint, we have pretty much all we need to win. We have really high damage spells. Our slow character just got a big speed boost with the wind rune. We have a ton of magic carrots in case we need to actually use her to nuke. On the mountains to the north, you'll find Mount Zenum. Zenum is where we worship the guardians. Let's say the mountain guardian who sleeps there holds a piece of an evil soul. Okay. Hmm. On the plus side, I could see if I've investigated something by how many crates are near them. Chief stream foresee changes in the world. I hear that those who hear the guardians, the seers, communicate in a dreamlight state. Okay. So yeah, so ideally we'd be able to upgrade the gun for damage. Although I'm assuming at some point we're going to get new arms. It feels weird we have like this big list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven more weapons to potentially get. But we might end up using gun for a while and we haven't seen what force gives us yet. This guy just sells herbs. I have an okay amount of medicines, antidotes. Got some cure silences. We have more than enough heals because we've been doing good fights. Another heal base, speaking of heals. So I think with that standpoint, you know, I, I think we're we're pretty good there at least when it comes to healing. I would like to see if I could learn new spells. Long ago, the Baskar people were cast out from the mainstream Guardian worship to this desolate island. Welcome you now, and because we hold no grudges. Hmm. It's Baskar, why are you guys dressed so funny? Are you a merchant? Reload ammunition? Sure, I'll pay 20. So we don't see an arm. Ooh, Power Apple. Uh, that should probably just keep going to Hunter, to be honest. Cowboy and Hunter's damage are pretty similar, but I think Hunter going first matters more with one shots. So we'll save and we'll keep going. But I'm thinking from that standpoint, like I think our roles are mostly defined. Not sure how much more I need. Giant dog. Baskar chief says, I've long forgotten my name. I'm the leader of the Baskar people. I've foreseen your arrival in my dreams. Listen, warriors of the guardians. As you know, our mortal enemy, the demon race, is approaching. Is interesting. They're, they're after the guardian statue in the Zena Mountains. Indeed, we were shown the dog. In order to conquer Filgaia, they must destroy the three guardian statues that hold the three broken pieces of their queen's heart. During the war a thousand years ago, the demon queen's heart was torn into three pieces and sealed in three separate guardian statues. Shouldn't you have led with that? They're planning an all-out attack after the revival of their queen. Zena Mountain is to the north of here. Go, warriors of the Guardians, and protect the Guardian statue. Believe that you are callers of Zephyr, the West Wind of Hope. Go visit the Windcaller's altar. The guard there should be of some help. Okay. Now I think we have permission to go to the next dungeon. That is a dog sound. I don't even think I need to rest or anything, because I haven't... It restored my MP. Hmm. So is there no... Is there no spell person here? Maybe there isn't. Kind of unfortunate. We have all these spell graphs, but can't do anything with them. And yeah, we know we haven't been here because I could see those were there. Hmm. The Baskarians believe the philosophy of returning to nature. The beliefs shared by the outsiders, such as the Curran teaches, emphasize the coexistence with nature. Hmm. 
So nothing to do there. I think I've explored the whole village. Hmm. Looks like another town exit. So I didn't see an arms upgrader, which is fine. Because I, I need to get more cash anyway. So we'll hold on to our money for now. But our overall damage is very high right now. Yeah, look at her damage chat. It's only 46 to their 125. Yeah, I think we're just not going to bother upgrading her unless they give some serious sorcery improvements. Even right now, I think she's fine. She's already... She was competing with the other person's best upgraded weapons with spells. I think getting those mystic apples helped a lot. Hmm. Bark, bark, chat. Uh, did I check these barrels? Yes. Okay, I don't see any other stores. So I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back and save. Just gonna check a pot one last time and check this barrel specifically. Okay, so I think we've seen everything that we can then. So let's go talk to the parrot again. Actually, before I do that... Oh, there's no second floor. That's fair. So it's it's not even worth using the inn because I'm basic I'm basically a full stats. It just it doesn't matter. Okay. So now cowboy is a solid level above other people, if not more. Let's chat a little bit. So how do we feel about the game so far? How do we feel the session went? Well, I would say the game was doing really well up until the stealth section. I really did not appreciate that. I really don't like that in games that aren't meant for stealth to force a stealth section. I really, really disliked it. I, I think I vaguely recall it wanting me to go to the kitchen, but the fact that it's like you yourself don't automatically trigger the cutscene, you have to talk to other people. It's just kind of like another thing that is just a potential annoying waste of time. I really didn't like when it split us up and it made us do those puzzles, quote unquote. That that felt straight up like padding. Like, it didn't, there were no items. It was just like a little bit of XP. I don't know. That, that dungeon was a big miss for me. I didn't mind the revelations and the illusions and stuff like that. Like, that's fine to do in a dungeon, but... That felt pretty unnecessary. Compare that to like how many items we were getting in some of the other dungeons where basically every couple of rooms gave us something. Just like after the point where we got split up, there was no point to the sections. So that section in particular felt bad to do. Uh, I think we're at the point where we have more than enough spells to do whatever we want. I don't think most of them are worth learning, to be honest with you. I might take analysis if really bored. But generally speaking, I'm just going to guess their weakness rather than try to analyze and look at their HP, etc. Just ev even when I play in most games, I don't bother analyzing HP ever unless I'm trying to like refine a run for next time. That makes more sense to me in like a like a, I'm taking notes for a better run kind of context. But if I'm just planning to one and done it, it's it's better that I just keep attacking. We have like non-elemental damage from the different Kirk spells and those kind of kill everything and we have our boss slayer already. So I think if I were to get new spells, I would double check to see if there was an ailment cure that I missed. Uh, but I could just take healing magic just because in case it heals more than 200 at this point. Then it would like almost be justifiably worth it. It's not like her MP is used for anything other than just ending encounters or bosses at this point. Because her in-between damage is quite terrible. Yeah, so far uh, Cowboy hasn't unlocked a new weapon. Hopefully he gets one within the next couple of dungeons. Because he, he feels pretty stale at the moment. I have bullets, but I can't really do much with them. Like, I can't trick shot, I can't multi-strike, I can't, like, shotgun it. So hopefully other weapon types will cover different 
styles of attacks, maybe like line attacks versus group versus, you know, bosses or something. We'll see, though. But anyway, so far, I'm still having fun with the game. Mostly I obviously not at the cell section, but I think everything else was fine. So we're going to do our best to just continue onwards and figure out what we need to do in terms of uh, combat. Hopefully there won't just like immediately be another place to get weapons, because if there is, I think I'm just going to skip getting upgrades for quite a while in that case. So, for example, if we're coming up to another place that sells weapons for, I don't know, the prices have been roughly doubling. So if it went like 550 to 1100, let's say 2200 is the next big weapon. It's probably just going to go to the hunter. I don't feel the like it going on cowboy is OK. It's it's more of a nice to have. And definitely, I think at this point, it's not worth leveling uh, the weapons for girl at all. So expect that. Also expect me to not bother getting equipment either for armor. I'm still not going to bother. If the game keeps giving us armor, I have no reason to do it. I'm kind of hoping one of these random drops actually does arbitrarily give me an armor increase because that would be quite funny. But I think from that standpoint, you know, we'll see where we go with it and maybe we'll do things. Hmm. But anyway, Chan, I don't think I have anything else to add there. So what I'm going to say is... I guess it's time to say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again next time.